Hello, good evening. Welcome to some farming sim madness. In front of me, we have over here elite farmers. <laughs> Only the finest for Squirrel TV. <laughs> As you can see, they're standing on each other's heads like acrobats. Anyway, can you hear me okay? Can you see me okay? Are we all good in the world? How are we all doing? All right, mad South, Af uh, South African. I think we're okay. AV is good. That's the main thing. Let me just turn my volume up a little touch. There we go. That's better. You wish you could stay, but you got to work. No problem. Uh, happy ghost. It's fine. Yes, we're on a brand new map. We are indeed on a brand new map. Just waiting for Steve-O to get sorted out here. He's just doing a bit of admin. A bit delayed getting his stream up. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're, we're completely new map. I know nothing of this map. Uh, I have not looked around. Steve and I had a quick look around the farm here. We'll do a little tour in a minute, but um, we both are pretty clueless about this. So it's going to be fun. Old school tractors. I'm not sure what tractors we've got, if I'm honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Mr. Solito, two months support. Mr. Roadwolf, 17, two months. Thank you, guys. Tristan Clark, just before I went live, two months support. Thank you, Tristan. So yeah, that's the map as it stands. Let's have a quick look at the uh, let's have a quick look at the crops and things. Uh, basically, what we did was we took the um, let's get the growth and stuff crops. We took the money. So what? I don't know if you remember the last time we played last week. Buy cows. I'm definitely thinking of doing that Robocop, but not maybe today. I'm not sure. They've got a quite nice cow shed on this map. Uh, we took the money from. The last map, what we did was we sold everything, we liquidated everything, and we had, I think, 3.7 million. We used that money, came in here, gave ourselves 3.7 million, and then used it to, to buy equipment. Um, we were going to buy field 7 and 8, which we, we still need to do, because we've got some money left. So I'm thinking of buying field 7 and 8, uh, which give us four fields to start with. Uh, we've got a couple of combines, some tractors, some logging equipment. There's plenty to do on the farm, because it's brand new. Um, but yeah, it's quite cool because we, we took the money from the last farm and used it on this farm. Which means we have no loan and we have, I think, about 600,000 left at the moment. Which is good. It gives us a bit of flexibility in case we, you know, we discover something on the map and we think, oh, it'd be really cool if we could do that. We've actually got some money to buy something. Undefined Bacon, three months support. Thank you, Undefined Bacon. Tom Dubliner, three months. Thank you. Quarter of a year hype. You find elite farmers <laughs> at squirrelfarmers.com. Lol. Uh, so yeah, we've got these here, if you look, 16 and 17 of the two fields, which look like canola, and that needs planting, so I think, you know, one of the first jobs out the door here is going to be planti planting stuff. There seems to be some new crop as well, including this thing called washed potatoes, there's a machine down here that washes potatoes, um, so I don't know, it could get pretty interesting. Mr. Hardy, 1199, five month support, thank you Hardy. Uh, we have not got the massive chipper. That is like three quarters of a million, I think. Uh, that's a canola. That's an empty field. Um, yeah, it looks like 16 is still growing, so there's no harvesting to be done. What I might do is speed up time a little bit here. Uh, just waiting for Steve. Uh, James 84, sorry, James 94, I almost made you 10 years older then. James 94 jeans, 14 months, thank you James. Happy little potatoes indeed. <laughs> yeah, there's like a machine around the back. If you look at the prices, it's kind of weird though, look at this. Watch this, um, prices are here. Right, look, uh, potatoes, 804 euros per tonne. And then watch the wash potatoes line, watch this. If I can find it, look at that. 2,300 euros per ton of washed potatoes. So, if you take some potatoes to them, dirty, they're like, well, we'll give you 850 euros for ton for that. And if you put them under the tap and wash them, that apparently triples their value. So, I don't know how that works. I can only assume the washed potato machine gives you, you know, fewer tons than the potatoes. I don't know. It's weird. But... <laughs> You'll send me a message about a cool tractor next week. Okay. 
Will you be getting the Class 73 for Train Sim at all? I don't know, Jude, you are. I'm actually going to be doing a Train Sim video next week, though, of a new release that's coming out. So that'll be cool. I don't know if it's a Class 73. See if the stream is just starting up. Okay, he's, he sounds like he's getting live. Yeah, he's just a little bit delayed. That's cool. Once he's live, we'll start looking around. Did anybody want to reply to that? That's fine. Uh, Tomatoes is... I, I don't think it's a mod, no. It came with the map, I think. The map that we're on. Same as this, like H-Milk, which I assume is high-temperature milk, UHT milk, sterilized. I assume that's what that is. Again, there's a machine around the back, I think, for uh, that. I don't know what lime is. I don't even know what... Well, I know what lime is. I don't know what it is on this map. I don't know where we get it from. And also, interestingly enough, they buy silage. Quite a lot of money for silage, so it could be worth cutting the grass. So we bought a grass cutter as well. Class 73 is out now. Woo! We don't have it, I don't think. Mr. Baz, thanks for the great stream yesterday, Paul. I must admit I was pretty tired this morning. You and me both, dude. But now I just bought Scrap Mechanic myself because I made up so many ideas in mind that needed testing, lol. Do you know what, Baz? I actually woke up this morning and you know that contraption we were building, the sort of rotating thing? My head had already planned about how to break, like, new ideas for making it work, and I've got some cool ideas. I was just too tired last night to try it. I was, my brain was shutting down. Th six and a half hour stream. My brain was like, nope, I can't think Hello, about blocks squirrel. anymore. Hello, you back? Yeah, well, kind of. Having all sorts of problems here. Things weren't working, and then had to start again. The audio wasn't working. <laughs> all right, it's all right. I just said that uh, you're a bit delayed getting going. One of those days... <laughs> Um, I was just explaining to people, um, just showing them quickly the map and mm -hmm. uh, looking at the crop situation. I'm saying that straight away, 17, we need to seed it with something because it doesn't have anything yes. on it. I've speeded up time a bit because uh, 16 was still growing, so I thought we need to get that to, to harvest pretty quickly if we can. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yes. Uh, myself and you were going to go by field 7 and 8, I think we said. Yeah, and we also need to give people something to do. So in terms of things to do... I mean, we can all have a look around the farm if we want. I don't know if people have had a look around yet. Mm -hmm. uh, let's ask. I'll tell you what. Let's ask Ask him. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you ask. There you go. Mr. Salman, four months. Jack Young, five months. Thank you, guys. All right. Should we jump down? Yep. Okay. Right. So. Um... What have we got here? We've got uh, what was this over here? This green thing? Uh, these are that's where you buy soil. Uh, not soil, sorry. Your um, go on seeds and things. So oh, yeah. you know, like your fertilizer and stuff. We can't even open the door because no, everyone goes. Everything's going up, pressing the key and shutting it again. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, you get all your seeds, your fertilizer, and and things from in there. So guys, that's where all the seeds are. Okay. Just in case, you know, you like us a bit mm -hmm. new to the map. Um, right, what else have we got? Uh, in here nice. it's just storage. Uh, I believe this is for cows or chickens normally. Um, oh. But yeah, I've just chose to use it for storage. Right, so what have we got? Do you want to tell the guys in, in the TS as well what this stuff is? So this part is storage area. Uh, I believe it's for chickens normally, um, but we're just using it for storage for now chickens. until we can uh, uh, get some chickens and stuff. Mr. V Magic Z, oh, thank you for subscribing, sir. Um, welcome to the Night House. I saw the Nutty Welcome. I'll give you a toot when I get inside a vehicle, but thank you so much for joining and supporting the stream. Appreciate that. All right, what's in this next one, Steve? Uh, this, this next one that you've just gone in now what is. is this? Uh, it's like a, a garage thing. Okay, it's not really. It's a mechanic shop of sorts. Yeah, we've we've not. I've not really put anything in that to be honest. That's fine. So over here. So yeah. I, guess, I guess this is where we store all of our main equipment then. Uh, correct. Yeah, we've got all the tractors uh, over one is. side. Uh, all the tractors. We've also got the implements and stuff. Got two fertilizers, etc. So back here, guys, I think this is a potato washer, which I've yet to understand, but we'll have to give it a go at some point when we get some potatoes. Yeah, we've definitely got to uh, to try this. I mean, I've never <laughs> I've never seen a potato washer in this game, but I'm Neither intrigued by the price. Yeah. 
Like the price of washed potatoes is insane. Yeah, what was it? Two thousand and something. It's like triple the price. It's like eight hundred mm -hmm. for normal and twenty three hundred for washed. Yeah. G Saunders, yeah, one and a half good, years. Uh, Thank you, G good Saunders. Value for money, I guess. Binoculus G, two month support. Thank you so much. Start the washer. How do you start this thing, Steve? Uh, I think we need to fill it up with fuel first, because when you get uh, near the panel, it says fuel zero percent. So I'm guessing we need to get one of those. Uh, uh, refreshment trailers over here just to fuel Wait, it up. I don't say, say fuel on there, it says nothing. Uh, it does when I go up to it, it drops down and it says fuel uh, 0%. When I go up In to the, that, it says nothing at all. Have you got your, if you press F1, it should, uh, it should oh, drop down. Oh, right, sorry. Down. I, I thought you meant on the display. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then it says it also needs water. Uh, Rome, okay, Dad. I'm Rome. Cool. Right, well, so that'd be interesting. That's that. Let's uh, let's keep walking around the tour and get us through the night. Indeed. Uh, what's through here? Maybe we'll have something to harvest then. So you've got your, your yep. weight blocks and stuff here. All the weights are here. Uh, the uh, telehandler. We've only got one telehandler, which will be used for um, you know if people are logging. Uh, that's what that'll be for. Okay. Can't work out what these floating icons are for, but they're a bit. That's a solar panel here, isn't it? So yeah, I panel. got told that this is for the viable objects. Uh, you can walk up to them and buy things for it, but because anyone can buy things, we remove that mod to stop that. So uh... I don't know if that's the case. Whether it's you know to buy the solar panels that are on the roof or something. I I, I really don't know. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Ryman in chat says, saying you don't seem to have the Bible Objects mod, that's why you have the Floating Objects. Yeah, as Steve says, Mr. Ryman, Raymond, the, the reason we don't have it is because then anybody could just buy stuff. Yeah, I mean, I was informed that you can actually disable it to stop people from buying things with it and just leave it for uh, admin to do it, but that's something that we'll have to look into. So Dan's going to drop and bounce back in. Um... Okay, what else have we got over here, Steve-O? Uh, in this one, I believe this is storage for... Um, I can't remember now. Happy little uh, solar panel. I've not actually looked. Press oh, F this, is the, this is the cow. Uh, no, this is not. This is the storage area. F key for flashlight, guys. I didn't know that. Wow. Kind of it's makes quite it quite bright as well. See. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite bright as well. Um, so yeah, this is basically storage area. Whatever we harvest, it'll come into here. You don't need to reverse into here. The actual loading uh, or unloading bay is on the opposite side of this. Uh, we'll show you that in a second. Um, so you just yeah. drive the trailer up and, and whatnot. So this bit's important, guys, when you're unloading. You need to unload it into this thing here. Like, you don't need to go inside that warehouse. You need to go here and do it. Yep. But you also need to open it. Yeah, you must you must open the lid on this before you tip the grain inside it. If you don't do that, it's going to get pretty messy. Indeed. What's bound there? Is that? Oh, I see. Um, so yeah, this is. Uh, I I had nowhere else to put the uh, cultivators, so I just put them in there. We could leave it open, Simulator. It's just that if you arrive and somebody's closed it, you will need to open it. Uh, and then here, I believe these are the same. Uh, yeah, it's these the are the back. same. Yeah, it's just opposite side. Ooh, trailers. Fancy trailers. Yep, these are definitely fancy trailers. I think these Joskin. were suggested by Vrome. Um, to try these, um, you can also change the the look of them when you've got it hooked up to a trailer. You can actually I don't know, Froggy. add three attachments to the top of it, uh, which I thought was quite good. I don't know if it extends the capacity or anything, um, but I guess we'll find out. Look, Steve, these trailers say wind pack on it. That's all we need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wind, wind, yeah, Definitely. just wind pack. Oh, what's this over here? Uh, these are, this area here is uh, where you put the grass and then you cover it basically and then it turns into silage. 
Um, so, you know, whenever we get round to doing grass for the cows and things, it all goes onto here, we cover it up, and then we can feed the cows. There is an interesting ramp here, guys, um, which is quite useful when you're moving silage into a trailer, because you can basically just scoop it up, drive up this ramp, and tip it into the back. Shovel it into a trailer. Good evening, Mrs. Don't, how are you doing? Is Do Doyle is resting. Doyle's always resting. Uh, and then we've got Every two combines. Uh, this will be their home for now because uh, there's no other room on the farm, really. Six, wait, 16 is still not gone dark blue for me yet. That's so weird. Do you know what? What's on 18, Steve? We should think about getting 18, Steve. Or corn. Dang it. Yeah, we haven't got a corn header yet. Hmm. But I mean, I've spent time up. We've gone through all night now, and it's still not gone dark blue on me. Mm -hmm. I've just changed the uh, plant growth as well to fast. See if that helps. That would help, probably. I've not actually looked in these sheds. I don't know what's uh, actually in them. Oh, this is the milk uh, oh, yeah. factory. I believe this does uh, UHT milk and stuff once it's been processed. Wait, where did you go? Uh, uh, I went in the shed. Oh, Down you're over there, yeah. So this is the milk area. Uh, I al we also do have uh, a milk trailer. Uh, although we've not got any cows yet, when we do get some cows, uh, we can obviously sort all that, sell the milk, and do everything that we need to do. So, yeah. If you put milkshake in this machine, it makes milk... Uh, put milk in, it makes milkshake. <laughs> Just what choose flavor? the flavor. Yeah, just choose the flavor. Yeah. Strawberry, chocolate, or banana. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like that machine. What is this? This is another entrance. Yeah, it's um, slurry. Oh, somebody just fell in. Wow. Um, that, I did I not expect. <laughs> No! <laughs> wow, that's that's pretty weird. Yeah, the physics on that. Uh, yeah, this is um, part of the cow sheds. Uh, I think that's where all the liquid manure ends up. So, so basically, Andrew Reid is now sat in the poop chute. Uh, pretty much, yeah, yeah. Classy, nice. Probably smells a bit after he comes out. <laughs> you need a shower. Let's see. Ah, it's gone dark blue now. Yes, yeah, definitely going to um, get ready for harvesting shortly. Yep, sounds good. I'll slow it down. Okay, Steve. Let's have a think about what we want people to do. So, sixteen is almost ready for harvest. Canola, so that will keep people busy. Seventeen mm -hmm. needs planting. So, what do you want to go for? Let's have a look at the prices. Let's get something lucrative. Uh, yeah, we'd have to basically go over to the field and and purchase the. Oh, you know. As if we're going to purchase them to see uh, see what's what. Um, I would suggest barley because it is worth more than wheat. Okay. So maybe we can get them to plant barley in. Um, is it seventeen? Yeah, barley. Get plant barley in seventeen, and then we'll harvest canola, and we'll go and buy seven and eight. All right. I'll let um, you uh, inform the troops. However, seven is still actually growing, so that's nearly ready, which is canola, so that'll be ready as well. And then mm -hmm. eight needs planting with something else, so we should go and plant, go and buy eight quickly. Yeah. Uh, right, guys, we're just trying to work out a plan here. Um, field 16 we currently own, and that's canola, and it's almost ready to harvest, so we'll need to harvest that shortly. Uh, field seven... We're going to buy now. That's also got canola, which is nearly ready to harvest. So 7 and 16 are going to be harvested very shortly. Um, 17 and 8, we're going to have to um, go and plant on. We're going to buy 8 now as well. But 17 and 8, we need to plant. So we're going to go for um, barley, probably on both of them. Oh, no, we'll go barley 17 and wheat on um, 8. We'll do it that way. Uh, we need a team to go logging as well. There's a massive forest in the middle. Um, but please do not cut down trees unless you're going to remove them. It just creates lag for the whole game. I 
So why was I doing the dodgy work and then fire them all? Lol. Right, Steve, we need a lift out or something. Yeah. Uh, Dan? Um, Dan? Dan, if you're using a G27, just switch the... Um, make sure you've got report combine pedals on the Logitech profiler. It's getting a... Tr oh, it would help if I put my... F it would help, Steve, if I put my pedals in front of my feet, wouldn't it? I just put my yeah, foot down definitely would. to press the accelerator and hit nothing but the wall. <laughs> I was like, okay. Where's my pedals going? I think it's the same software for the G29, though you still have to report combined pedals in the Logitech gaming yeah, software. Yeah, you do. So if he does that, it should, in theory, work. But theory was never good in practice, was it? You can't find it, Dan. It's in the profile setting, where you just you just choose. There's a little tick box say "Report Combined Pedals." Right. So are we going to go by fields what, eight and seven? Uh, yeah. We need to work out how to get. The thing is, I just got yeah. used to the last map. Now I need to work out how to get around in this map. You reckon it's that way? I think so. I mean, well, this is the way out, so you know it's the only way that we can go. But I'm just trying to think. Because everyone is piled in here, I have no idea which dot I am. I know, that's the problem. Okay, I can roughly see that I'm heading west now. They uh, should, sorry, east. They should put a zoom on this map, it's ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. There's no compass, there's no map zoom. It's like, where are we? How do we get out of here? I can see that people are waiting to get out here, so... Mr. Swagstar, hey, thank you for right subbing, sir. Welcome to the Nuthouse Swagstar. Let me just give you and... Uh, who was the other guy? Who was the other guy? There he is, V Magic. Okay, I'm a out. nutty welcome. Let's hope my little horn button works. There you go. That's your official toot from me. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, where do you go? Uh, I'm heading north. I'm on field 18. I'm at the top of 18. I'm going this way. No idea where I'm going, guys. Absolutely not got a Scooby-Doo. Oh, I see. Wait a sec. I know where I am. So this is right on drive map, isn't it? Um, it's German, I think. Yes, German. <laughs> right, I need to move over, don't I? I think. Uh, let's move me. There we go. How's right, that? I'm at field seven now. Not better. Press the enlarge map key, can't remember which kid is, maybe number 9. I don't think it's 9. That does that, you see, on this particular mod. Right, there's 7. Yep. Right, 7 and 8, you're going to do 8, I'll do 7. Yep. Okay. Well, I think that one that you're going to there, oh, I think wait, that's sorry. field 8. Hey, this is weird. Yeah, I don't know where the oh. uh, buy point is. Oh, it's behind you. Behind me? Oh, yeah. yeah you Frankie, get, you get number eight. Yeah, you yeah, get that fine. one. I'll go down here. Okay. Well, let's see how much it is first. Her 52 will have that. All right. Um, so, whoever's got cedars, field eight now needs, um, what did I say, wheat? Uh, yeah, wheat. 17 needs barley, uh, 8 needs wheat. 17. Barley. Right, what's our plan? What uh, What are we doing? It's... That's a good question. Um, Everything's taken now. <laughs> all the harvesters and everything. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll need to get trailers and support the harvesters, maybe. Uh, okay. Put the wheel and the tractor down. Yeah, hang on. What if they it? are available as well. Let me open the sunroof as well. Uh, how's that? Farmer <laughs> uh, Sim 17 can be awesome. I don't know. There's going to be no annou announcement yet, but um, you would expect it. Somebody just left a tractor there with a trailer on. Hmm. Whoa, I just knocked the sign flying. What the heck? Uh, I did the same. 
Can't get into the forest with my tractor. One problem, can't get into the forest with the tractor. Hmm. I'm going to go and investigate that. Yeah. Right, I'm a little bit behind here. Uh, TCC students, I've been playing Farming Sim 15 for the last week, every day, and I'm completely addicted to it. The wife and son are now calling me Farmer Chris. I'm so glad to have joined this great community. <laughs> Chris, nice one, dude. You must be driving the uh, the wife and kids up the wall. McBone! Hello! Oh, I sent you a message with a pic of a truck on Twitter. Username, ferret, and some number. Okay, I'll have to look after the stream, McBone. TV Kappa, seven months. Mr. S Mrs. Swaggy, four months. Thank you, Mr. Swaggy. I'll speed up time again. Let's see if we can get these into harvestable state. They should, hopefully, become harvestable today. He says, fingers crossed, not having a clue. You can't get into the forest you tried earlier. Is there still a problem getting into that forest, Steve? Yeah, there's two... Um, like, two of those arm things that come down, and only one of them has gone up. The other one isn't going up. Is it like a, you press it on either side, maybe? No, I've tried. I wonder if there's another entrance. Looks like 18 is harvestable. Okay, somebody's just said that we need to buy the forest area, but I don't know where you buy it. Buy the forest? That's, yeah. That's Rome, you'll probably know. We don't own 18, scumbag. That's corn. Ah! Does anybody know how we buy the forest then? <laughs> A few people are saying that you need to rent the forest. Um, Wait. And to do that, you need the viable object mod, yeah. <laughs> right, so we do need to have that. Mm. Oh, that's a problem for tonight then. Are there are there any more trees we can cut down anywhere else then? We'll have to sort the forest out for next week. Right, we'd have to make sure we sort that out for next week then. Just said that. Uh, all I heard was uh, that's a problem for tonight then. No, I said, I, I just whispered that we'll sort it out for next week. Is there any trees we can buy in the meantime? I didn't hear the whisper. <laughs> that's interesting. Why do you not hear the whisper? Hmm. Um, come on, 16 and 7, why would you become... 16 and 7 taking forever? Okay, apparently they're cutting some trees down somewhere. Yeah, yeah but where? Leonard, we don't own Field 18, so we don't own a corn header either, so... <laughs> we just have to wait for 16 and 7 to come online. Scanny loving Cookie! No, I'm on support, thank you Cookie. Uh, overpowered Brit. Hey, Paul, I don't know if you remember, but you gave me some advice about being a coach or bus driver. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I'm becoming a bus driver and start training on the 29th of Feb, so I want to say thanks. Dude, good luck. Awesome. I hope you enjoy it, sir. I really do. Twiddle thumbs. Oh, this, this is pure scumbaggery. Like, all the fields that we don't own are coming online. Wait a sec, what's this 19? Yeah. What's 19? Well, we should still be able to harvest them right, and I'm, steal the crop, yeah. but it's I'm, just not our crop. I'm going to buy it anyway, Steve. We'll just buy 19. Right. It'll cost about 10p. Right, yeah, I'm just going right. to buy field 19, Rome, so you can, we can harvest this. Done.
Why is it getting so dark quickly? Because I've accelerated time to try and get it so that 16 and 7 have become harvestable. These two here. You see, like, everything else on the map is... Not... Honestly, God, look at the map, Steve. Everything is harvestable, except for the, the fields that we bought. It's like pure scumbaggery. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Even field 30 is halfway done. Wow, that combine makes a weird sound. Uh, I don't know, I've not been in it. Well, I have when I brought them over, but I had sound, uh, sound was muted. Uh, Steve, do we have a um, bale collector facilities? No, we don't. From, you need to turn the straw swath on because we don't have any collection for that. Yeah, it's called like Holtzhausen, something like that, Daft Life. I can't remember the exact name, but it is called something like Holtzhausen. Yeah, I'm going to have to put light on now. Hang on, what's the key for the... Oh, wow. What the heck? Wow, the trailers. If you press the number 7 key, you get different tops on them. Yes, that's why I said uh, you get extra with those trailers. They're quite nice, actually. That's so weird. Um, what's the key for the work lights? Uh, you have to make sure that your tractor is selected on the menu at the bottom, and then it's uh, 6 and 5 on the numeric. That's it. Always forget to press the G key. Night time you shouldn't need to fill those up. It should automatically do it. Yeah, this field's going to take no time at all. I agree. It's a it's a pretty small field, but it's also a pretty awkward field, isn't it? Well, I should be able to get him emptied a little bit down this pass. Happy little lag lights, Jay Spence. It'll soon be in the morning. Let's get down the side of him. Uh. Whoa, what's... Oh, he missed a bit. <laughs> I was like, what's he reversing for? This is like such a small field. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Let's just let him go past. At least we'll be able to turn off the lag lights in a minute. Why'd he stop?
I might as well just wait for him on this bit because he's not going to fill up between here and there, is he? So. Let's do that. There we go. That's not collecting. Why is it? There we go. Oh man, this field is quite stressful. Oh god, what's he doing? Why is he going that way? Okay, nobody knows what Brom's doing now. <laughs> Which of threes put you in a funny mood? I think, I'm guessing he's going to do a U-turn down here, but I'm not entirely sure. I guessed right. Hey Phil, how you doing? I love the way the uh, axles turn on this trailer, look at that. Steering axles are awesome. I'm just going to wait over here for him. I might just let him get on with it. He can come here when he's ready. Simon Lemington. Uh, one sec. Sam Lenton, hey Paul, more news, please say I should get back my PC in April to May. Our house has now sold. Wow, that was fast. We're looking for houses in Taunton. Please say also the guy admitted the offence on tape, so all is good. Yeah, I mean, you know, at least things are moving in the right direction, aren't they, Simon? Nobody can change what happened, but get your PC back, that's, that's a good start. Moving house, your house is sold. It's all moving in the right direction, sir. Uh... Okay, 16, 7 are ready. Let's slow time down now. There we go. What tractor is that? It's a, uh, a class something. Hang on. I'm getting texted. Um. Uh, yeah, Gil, that's fine. So Gil was like proposing to prolong the first uh, slot by 15 minutes because we were just faffing around introducing the map. Yeah, that's fine. So I, I mean, I'm in, I'm in no okay. rush to, to end tonight, so I've got nothing to do tomorrow, so... Okay. You're from Wigan, the Ryan. I know where Wigan is. <laughs> Do you know what Billing is? I used to live there for a few years. Okay, fields, field 19 can now be uh, replanted with wheat. Okay, let's go and dump this in our favourite... Um, actually, where's he going? Is he taking wheat? No, we haven't gone to the wheat one, that's fine. Uh, I'm currently up at the top as well on field, next to field one, I'm cutting grass. Cutting grass? Yeah, there weren't much else to do, so I thought I might as well. 
come do my lawn, back garden if you want. <laughs> You're going to get yourself a, a couple of horses or sheep. They do it. <laughs> yeah, they, they do it for nothing. The thing is about that is they have input and output. And the output's well, not great. Well, yeah. that's uh, Yeah, true. Where is it? Is it this way? I think it's this. No, hang on. Yes, this way. I'm going to be getting lost in this map for a bit. Mr. Rickson, one second, sir. Let me just find my way over to the... Well, there's a storage base. It must be around this corner here. There we go. Now, I need to get out and lift this thing up. Done. Oh, this trailer was locking me. I see what the problem was. I love that turning circle, though, because of the trailer. Right, I think we're going to be about here. Nice. Our first crop. Mr. Rickson, good evening, Paul. Uh, been busy picking up a project from last September. An MAM A95 bus at OMSI, to be exact. Nice. For some random reason, having your stream in the background would give me ideas to model it. That's very random, Mr. Rickson. But um, that seems to work for you, and it works for me, so that's win-win. Uh, <laughs> we need some kind of protocol for going around this place. Because, uh, like, right in the yeah. middle of the map is a giant tree. And if people go in opposing directions, everybody gets stuck. Right, okay. It's quite fun. I... Are you on about in the farm, or...? Yeah, like, you know where the like unloading the bay is? You know the unloading bay? Where you oh, pull yeah, the yeah. crop? There's, like, a big tree in, in the paddock just next to it. And uh, right, there's I three tractors in the area, and we're all going different directions, so it just creates chaos. <laughs> Yeah, I think it needs some road signs, you know, saying this way only, you know, one way street. Something like that. Uh, Mrs. Frosty Jack, good evening, Paul, a.k.a. Squirrel. I'm still learning this, so I can come and join you. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm not yet there. It's frustrating. I'm hoping you're still playing this pharmacy when I can find a joint. I'm sure we will be, Mrs. Frosty Jack. But don't forget, there's a whole bunch of people in the Nut House who can help you to learn. They play this quite a lot, like more than I do. They can, you know, just get on TeamSpeak with one of them. Have a chat with Rome or uh, or Baz or somebody. There's loads of people who can can help you. Gonna restart the game. Okay. <laughs> Sam Leamington, uh, hey again. Yes, we got an offer of 18 grand over our asking price. Nice to a cash buyer. Halifax is still giving us money, so I will be able to get some CTTV in our property, a new one, and be more secure. Nice, definitely do that, Simon. Peace of mind, dude. Peace of mind. That's well done, that. 18 grand over the price. What are we doing here? Growing, 8, 7 is being... I'm guessing we're harvesting 7 then. If we're not, we should be. Sim247. Uh, how have you set up your audio for the stream? I know how you've done it in your video. Just wondering also do live streams but my game is not capable of streaming as well as playing games sim i cannot explain that to you it is so like put it this way when you know matt you know Berlin's, he's he's got a similar setup to me now because he bought like the same mixer and the cables i told him to and all the rest of it but even so i had to sit with him on Teamspeak quite a lot to get him to understand how to plug it all together it's just you know it's insane. There are so many ways to do it. That's the thing. There's no right way of doing it. There's just a lot, a lot of wrong ways, though. So, uh, just bear that in mind. But it is not easy. Audio is without doubt the hardest thing to get set up properly. The video is simple. Capture card, plug it in, off you go. Audio, multiple channels, mixing. Different story. Mr. Cadster82... Thank you for subscribing, Mr. Cadster. Welcome to the Nuthouse, sir. 
Thank you for giving a minutey welcome, everyone. And thanks for supporting the stream, Mr. Canster. I'm going, I'm going too fast. There we go. Lovely canola. I love it when we're, we're harvesting canola because I know it means loads of money. Yeah, the black gold. I think that's the highest. Is that the highest selling thing that we can have apart from washed potatoes? <laughs> yeah, probably. We've definitely got to try that. Definitely. No, it's not fur. It's taking the inside of a circle. That's cheating. Now that Mr. Custard. <laughs> Plenty of tractors and trailers kicking around, looking around for work, it's quite funny. Yeah, true. Not like everybody's fighting each other going, I'll get the combine, no, you got the combine, oh, dang it. <laughs> if anyone's not doing anything, uh, you could grab the other grass cutter, I'm up at the top at field one. Uh, you can also grab the uh, windrower, uh, and bring, uh, sorry, not windrower, the uh, the rake. Yeah, it's the mobster. Uh, Eight months resub, thank you, Mr. Mobster. Uh, and like I say, I'm on field uh, one, just above field three. For some reason, it's kind of struggling to match the speed of um, Rome's harvester. Mm, not sure, then. It's kind of weird. Uh, MC from YouTube, I don't discuss that. Some streamers talk about it openly, some streamers don't. I'm one of the ones that doesn't. It's a choice. Just pulling behind, they'll have to follow me around. I can imagine doing this in real life first person, which would actually be quite tricky. Uh, the map is called Holtzhausen or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. You can use the grass cutter, Deland. It's all right. Whoa, that lag. What the heck? Nice. Happy little lag spikes. I keep getting those. Only little small ones, but it's every so often it just jumps a little bit. Yeah, I just did it then. That's my first proper one. Also, I don't know if you noticed this, but when you drive on the road, you get, like, signs and things just pop in every, you know, the draw distance doesn't seem to be that long. Yeah. I was actually surprised, though, that the signs, you could just knock them down the road. Oh, yeah. And then we'll reset... Well, we'll not reset the map. <laughs> we'll come back next week and we'll be uh, back to normal. There's a speed limit sign that's sat in the field right now that we're harvesting. <laughs> just on the floor, along with a couple of other signs. Fair enough. I know I knocked, uh, I knocked one down. Lovely Truck and Dice series and sub to YouTube channel and here. Yay, L30. Welcome, dude. Welcome to the stream. If you get a beer and stream, that would be funny to see you drunk in 247. It generally wouldn't, though. I, I Honestly, I cannot stand people who stream whilst drunk. I hate it so much. It's just not funny. Like, to me, it's not anyway. I mean, the people who you go down the pub with... Have you ever been the nominated driver? Have you ever been a nominated driver? It's a bit like that. You go out with a whole bunch of people, they all get drunk, and you're not drinking and you wonder why everybody's laughing at stupid stuff. It's, it's just a bit like that. I don't like it. But yeah, you're not going to see me do a drunk stream. Scrap Mechanic, uh, Tommy. We played it yesterday, which uh, you, you, uh, you watched, obviously. I don't know, we're going to play it again. I still need to solve the problem with that elevator. The thing is about the scrap mechanic though is you need the you need the ideas, you need the concepts, you know what I mean? 
you need the suggestion like let's try and build this and then it gets fun like once once we decided we were going to build a massive elevator we then spent two hours trying to do it and that's the point you need a project Uh, Del Allen, if you want to come up to the uh, entrance, Andrew's Thank going around with the uh, windrower, so you can just follow him at the back. Yeah, not only that, I don't actually drink very much, like hardly ever. And um, today, dun, 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 I joined a gym. Yay! <laughs> well, I went back to a gym. To be fair, right, to be fair, all the way up to TwitchCon, I was getting to the gym like two times a week, I think it was. So I was getting healthy, and then... I came back from TwitchCon, I got an email from the gym saying that they were closing down. So I was like, okay, so that happened. Um, so then I, had to, I was like, oh. And then Apathy took over, then Christmas took over. And then today I went down and joined a new gym. So, um, yeah. I'm going to get healthy, that's the theory. <laughs> Love the streams and videos, Jeff. Thank you. Why not stream on a Friday, James? I can't, dude. I've got to go out at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I did think about doing a morning stream, but I was like, you know what? It's just so stressful getting up early, doing a stream, and then at 3 o'clock saying, right, I've got to go now. I just thought, let's just not do it. Jim, what is that word? I'm just going to go around the length side, I think. The, um, the audio on the harvester, uh huh. you only hear it when you get within about 30 metres of it, and then you don't hear it. It's so weird. Right, okay. Well, that's uh, that's the mod then. Yeah. Obviously, it's not a, it's not a default uh, combine, is it? Exactly. Hmm. I wonder if that could be changed. Well, you do notice it. When you, when you get near a harvester, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll try it later. <clears throat> What's the trailer? It's um, do you know what the new mods that we're using tonight? We didn't actually put in the mod spreadsheet, did we? So we should do that. After no, we didn't. Yeah, we need to do that one after. Yeah, we'll put them in the mod spreadsheet, guys, so that you um, you can see what the mods we're using. Periscope your gym workout R one. No, nobody wants to see. Like, I would not want to see anybody working out down the gym with a periscope stream. No, thank you. <laughs> Imagine that, walking around with your mobile, like on the treadmill. <laughs> it's just periscoping it. Why would anybody want to watch that? The crop is falling down, what do you mean? I've nearly got all this. Lovely canola. Do you have to pay to sub the 89 Minecraft? You do indeed, dude. Uh, following is free and is equivalent to a YouTube subscribe. In the, you just effectively follow and get notified. Uh, sub is a paid thing that you do optionally. Must stress that. It's your choice. You don't have to. Uh, and that helps to support the stream. Uh, and you get some benefits. One of the benefits that I give is like this where I've got my own farming sim server and team speak server and you're welcome to come and uh, come and join and take part in the stream but yeah you don't have to do it it's completely optional <laughs> happy little panting chase space we've got a question could random people in the stream join if into the MP server five not quite Harold we're a little bit more organized than that uh, you should have had a twitch message off me yesterday um, detailing the forum post so in the subscriber section of the forum you'll find the post about this uh, about the, and how to join because you need to download a mod pack and then you need to get on TeamSpeak um, I think he's finished you need to download a mod pack, you need to get on TeamSpeak and then you need to basically jump in the room and then wait for a slot we have three slots uh, during the evening and if there's, you know, if if there's not enough, whoa, 
there's not enough people, then you can stay for the whole evening. But if there's too many, then we rotate. And one of the mods helps with that rotation. And I am driving in completely the wrong direction because I'm not paying attention. So same thing, guys. We'll just replant the same crop, whatever we harvest. We won't change the crop type. Where the heck am I going? Hey, even though the street lights stay on permanently, that's kind of weird. Uh, I've not noticed it, no. I can't yeah. say I have, I've been on a field most of this time. Yeah, it's like one in the afternoon and the street lights yeah. are on. I mean, what kind of, you know, environmentalism is this? <laughs> I guess the scripting involved for that is uh, too heavy. What do you mean, blame the chat again, Jay Spence? It's, it's a given. I always blend the chat. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm completely lost. Is it this way? I think it's this way. It's too dark and cloudy. It's just one of those days. Is that what you're saying? Let's put the lights on. Possibly. Oh my god, where am I? Seriously? I'm like completely flipping lost. It's behind me. It's behind you. Let's turn around the car park. James, 16 months support. Thank you, James. Uh, true, two months. Thank you, true. How do we join you on the team server, but don't know how to join you as waiting to join is locked? ATS KG. Uh, waiting to join is locked. So you need to jump in the room that says Farming Sim 2015. That's the room you need to go in. Go in that room and speak to a mod, it's either going to be Dry or Thyrox, and they'll take it from there. So, effectively, one, the mod will sort out your access into the waiting to join room. That's the rotation room. Oh man, that trailer lock, it kills me. Not to mention the uh, impregnable bushes. <laughs> Authentication down Raptor. Just ask a mod. They can tell you what to do. It's a one-stop thing you have to do. You should get a little whisper from the from Nutslammer on TeamSpeak. Get a little whisper. It'll say, go here and punch this code in or whatever. Or click. I don't think you punch a code anymore. I think it just authenticates you. You go to the Squirrel TV website and do it that way. Where am I going? I have no idea where I am. There's like all kinds of really cool stuff here, but none of it will let me... Empty the trailer into. It's a nice house. It's a 30 zone. Man, I'm so lost. How do you mean? I can't find how to get. I've been all around these. You've heard the phrase, I've been all around the houses. I literally uh -huh. have just been all around the houses. <laughs> have you been on a tour? I have on because a, I can't on a, find a signed tour. I can't find how to get into the farm. I think it's over there, isn't it? Is uh, it? It's on the north side near the house. <laughs> nice, bit, nice bit of Banksy art. I didn't see that. Right, so uh, where are you? Uh, I'm up at the top near field one. There's currently four of us flying around a small grass field. I see you. So, where it says garden centre, is that where the uh -huh. farm is? Um, no, the farm is actually in the centre. If what, you near see 18? Yeah, just below 18. That's what it is. That's why I'm in the wrong place. Right. I take it you're right. Oh, I see where you are. You're. <laughs> You definitely have been around the houses. Yeah, it's like a nice little if housing over that way. village down here. It's quite cool. Yeah, I know I'm the flashing green dot. I just didn't know where I was going. I thought so basically I was... you've just gone down there. You've met the village vicar and the, <laughs> you know, the butcher and the the pet store and the you know news agents. I, did, I didn't even get offered tea and scones. 
Ew, tin scones. It's tin scones with jam. Jam and best butter. And lashings of ginger beer. Nice. Uh, go on, you take it. Yeah, Delound, if you put the grass where the combines were, uh, there's two, like, concrete things on the floor. Make sure you put it in the one closest to the farm so that you're leaving space for the combines when they come back. Isn't it near that ramp? The two flyer is near the ramp. Yeah. I'm on a magical mystery tour, guys, because I'm just completely and utterly lost. I don't even know what that is. What is ginger beer? You never heard of ginger beer, Scania? To drink? You should try it, and then you know what it's like. You, you, it's a bit like you you either like it or you'll hate it. It's kind of like Marmite, I guess. You you'll drink it and go, oh, that's actually quite nice. Ginger beer, though, technically, you normally put with something else. You don't normally drink it on its own. I mean, I'm sure there are people that do, but... Um... Wow, is that a ramp? Is that some kind of scale? I think it's down here. I am taking a joyride because... I don't have a map. Well, I do, but I'm not using it very well. Um... Straight on. There it is. Aha! Now I know where I am. Are you serious? Go on, what's up? Guys, who left the, um, the the combine header trailer parked across the road next to field 19 and 18? Yeah, I had to drive past that. That's just not very useful. I expect professionalism, guys. Come on, up the standards. I don't know. Bunch of amateurs. <laughs> now ginger beer is not like alcoholic beer or anything what's the name of this field map thing Tr Holtzhausen uh, Holtzen, Holtzen or something yeah Holtzen Pills <laughs> yeah Holtzen Hills or something yeah Austin Pills. Why is my tractor so dirty already? Look at it. Hang on, so I can go straight on here, can't I? I think it's easier this way. And there we go, that field is done. And then we take a left turn here. Is it coming in or out? <laughs> oh my god! Go that way. I guess I should reverse into that thing. Krabby's doing an alcoholic ginger beer. I think you're right, actually. I think I've tried that one day. I'm sure I've had that. Steve's voice sounds lower. Lower than what? Well, that can all have went on the longest journey <laughs> back to the farm. All right, Andrew, don't worry, I'll get it. Have you seen this new um, this new Diet Coke ice? It's basically like a transparent Diet Coke. It's pretty cool, huh? It's like all the flavour of Diet Coke, but it's completely transparent. It's nice. All the taste of Diet Coke, but colourless. There's another entrance to the forest here. I'm going to have a look at this. Vodka. It's not vodka. Turning out of there is a nightmare. Coke H2O. That's what it is. TV Kappa. 
Uh, do it to the one closest to the farm, Dylan. Is that legit or just water? <laughs> it's just water. Although TV Kappa's got a good name, though. Coke H2O. They should definitely they should definitely brand that. If they could make colourless Coke, they could call it Coke H2O. So let's work out where I'm going. <laughs> uh, let's see where everybody else is. Right, in terms of harvestability, uh, they're all growing. 18 is ready to harvest, but we don't own it. 17 is growing. Okay, everything's growing. We can't harvest anything now. I think we'll have to speed up time because everything's growing. All right, sounds good. Yeah, here he comes. Yes, do you see what I mean? I moved that. That like, was uh -huh. right across the road, that was. Yeah, that, that wasn't like that when I came up. No, it was right across when I came to it. Mm. I see what you mean though about the street lights. I can see that they're still turned on. Somebody said it's because it's a gloomy day, but I don't know. I'll have to see what it's like on a sunny day. Yeah, true. Right, it looks like everything's been replanted then. Um, so given how much money we've got, we should probably think about another field. Don't want to do corn. 23 looks good. Quite a decent size, actually. Let's go and have a look how much 23 is. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Edwards. Just buy some more fields. Go and do that. Have fun with getting bigger trailers from the farm. <laughs> You're not joking, these roads are tiny. In and out of the farm as well, especially. Right, where's the buy point? Is that it? I think this might be it. Field 23, 132k. Okay, field 23, Steve. Yes. Is, is 120, is 130k. Okay. It's quite a big field. Uh, it's right on the farm, and we've got enough money. And at the moment, we're waiting for a lot of stuff to grow. So we could buy this and then harvest it. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. I'd say so. At least it's going to give us something to do, you know. Yeah, that was my thought. Right, guys, can we get a couple of harvesters down to field 23? We've just bought it. It's quite a big field. And it needs harvesting. It is wheat. Are you going to Twitch, Companda? Very unlikely, dude. Do you watch River Monsters, Connor? I don't even know what River Monsters is. <laughs> no. Who's into combines, I wonder? Service called Hamsters to 23. Oh, oh, Harvesters. I thought you said Hamsters. <laughs> I thought you said Hamsters to 23. Is there a combine available, I wonder? No. From, are you in a combine? Is it vodka on tonic? <laughs> are they harvested somewhere? When you've done field 10, do you mind if I take over for 23? You could um, do the trailer if you want. Cool. I'll wait for you here. <coughs> I 
Ah, uh, that's the... Um, I think this is the... The forest they couldn't get into. Because you need... Ah, uh, see, yeah, look, it's got like a double... It's got a double barrier on it. It's got the default map one, I assume. And then the other one, which requires Bible objects, so we can actually rent the forest so we can harvest it. That's quite a cool idea, though. I like that. Yeah, no problem. I like that in principle. The idea that you can't just have the trees for nothing. You know, you've got to rent the, the forest and then you can harvest it. Let's go have a look around while we wait. Let's go down here. No, I don't think you can go around the barrier. There's a fence all around it and hedges and probably invisible boxes. <laughs> yeah, sure. that way so they just these are massive fields down here like the whole bottom part of this map is just massive fields field 30 did you see field 30 guys it's absolutely enormous paul how's the learning curve in this game it's not bad plexipus to be honest look at field 30 though look at that it's not that bad um it's more about learning like harvest, like what tools you need to attach to what. It's more that than anything else is the learning curve. And so you get into livestock and stuff and then it's quite complicated. How much is this game on Steam? I'm not sure, to be honest. Talking of Forest, will you play it again? Uh, not on YouTube, no. I don't know if I'll play it on Steam, on Twitch either, I'm not sure. I know it's changed quite a bit since I played it. Is this a train station down here? Wait a sec. Is there some kind of train station down here? Uh, I'm nowhere near 10. Um, is it available for Mac? Uh not sure. Yeah, I'm not near field 10 either. Uh, if I go over there, then I will. What is this place? Look, there's like an American truck in Weybridge. This is pretty cool. How much is Phil 30? I have no idea. What is this? This is the train thingy. Oh man. Lag hype. Okay, so that happened. Farming Sim is on sale right now. There you go. Thinking about getting it, it's on sale. What's that? Send the train off. Bye! Wow, that thing accelerates quick. It's pretty scary. Pretty cool. So I think this is where you bring the logs and stuff. Like the wood. You put it on that bit and then send the train off, I think. That's how you sell the wood, I assume. Farmer Sim, six pounds. Wow, that's pretty cool. Right, let's head back. Uh, press I... Uh, Laz and have a look. Yep, 
Where are you stuck, Andrew? Train plus logs equals dollar. I like dollar. <laughs> Let me have a look where he's stuck. Phil 7. See if we can find him. Phil 7. Oh man, which is Phil 7? Phil 7 is that one. Okay, what vehicle are you in, Andrew? Class with a cedar. A cedar? Do you reckon that's him? Which would the cedar be? That one? No, that one. I'll head up to four now. Um, Andrew, I can't really work out which one is you on seven. Because the things on seven seem to be moving, so it's kind of hard to work out which is you. He's out. That's good. Right, let's get up to four. Looks like a misty morning. Alright, that's four. I think somebody's there with him already. There's just like knock down signs everywhere. Oh, you saw it out then? Right, we'll move on. Ooh. Oh, we don't have wood chip. Yeah, I just went to fill four, Matty, but Leonard's got somebody. Vrom, have you finished with the harvester now? Is it field 23? Field 23. Okay, I'll uh, I'll come down there now to twenty three. What did you say, Steve? I uh, never said anything. I thought you did. They want us to buy four. Are you all right with that? Yeah, yeah, go for it. We've got some very enough money. We're down to two hundred. Yeah, it's plenty. I'm just trying to fill this uh, potato washer up with fuel. It's not going very well. <laughs> I'm trying to find the point at where it clicks and it says yep that's the right place that I can reach you know and yeah right we own four now everybody's paying three thousand dollar fines for knocking down signs lol I think it's 23 no not that way it's turned right uh, Leonardo was going to um, harvest 23 in Vrom's harvester all right. Oh, you heard that? Yeah. yeah. That's weird that you didn't hear the whisper before then. I thought the whisper was broke. No idea. There you go. Thank you. Wow. Let's have a look inside this thing. This thing sounds so different. This harvester on the outside sounds way different on the inside. Mm. They probably use sound from two different mods or I something. Reckon. Could you have put the tree any closer? Like, seriously. <laughs> Look at that! I just about folded that in on time.
Does Steve has Twitch or just me, Liz Sims? Yeah, he has Twitch, Stephen Kibberton. Matty, I'm, I'm harvesting, dude. I can't help. But Steve's free. That's what he told me. Oh, did I? What's up, Matty? <laughs> we'll drop Steve in it. What field are you in here? He's in a ditch. Amateur farmers. Yeah, we might have to cut that tree down, Switchblade. But I don't know, it's kind of fun having it. I don't like cutting down the tree unnecessarily. It's kind of fun. Is it the one uh, near the forest entrance? <laughs> Happy little trolling trees, exactly. Uh, I'm going to knock a sign down. No, there's a stop sign. I didn't stop. It's stuck in the header. Steve, I'm carrying a stop sign around in the header of the of the harvester. <laughs> yeah. There we go. It is actually stuck in the machine. Oh, there's, there's no room at the farm to reset anything. You need to fire some helpers. The problem is, it's kind of hard to fire volunteers. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like people who volunteer for stuff, and then you, like firing people who do that is kind of tricky. <laughs> because we only pay, well, we kind of pay them. We pay them in Jaffa cakes and milkshake. Like, they won't accept monetary payment. Well, they probably would accept it, but they'd never been offered it, technically. So, we just give them Jaffa Cakes and Milkshake, and they seem to be fairly happy. I like the... This vehicle is reversing! Oh, no! Look at that, scumbag. What's the mod call for buying stuff in Holtzhausen? Uh, um, I can't remember. I can't remember it. This is Frosty. Uh, good evening, me again. Frosty Jack have got you and Doyle a little something. And we'll give it to you at Trout Fest. What day are you likely to be there? Uh, I think my guess is will be the Monday. I think I'll be there. Because I think what I'll do is I'll do my... I'll, if I go on Sunday, I won't be able to get back for Sunday night trucking. Which I don't want to not do, if you see what I mean. That's a weird double negative, I know. But you know what I mean. Um, right, I, it's not letting me reset anything, guys. Because there's uh, no room on the farm, supposedly. And I don't know where the reset area is. So what I'll probably do is go... On, whoops. I'll go on the Monday. That's the most likely day to be there. I'll just drive up Monday morning. At least we don't have that weird header problem anymore. True, we have actually got that mod installed that corrects it. It's something like auto thing. Uh, it's yeah, that's it. What's that mod that you, we used for buying that we've not got? Uh, map viable objects or something. Right. Yeah, we'll get Dolly in later if we can. You're getting hooked on this game, DJ Sutty. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually quite a bit to this game once you get into it. But you can't... There are mods that make it, like, really complicated. There are mods that you can get that make it so that you have to, um... Like, take care of the soil on each field, like, the acidity that values of it. Oh, it's just crazy. Just a whole lot of work. There are mods that make it so that you damage crop if you drive over it, which I, can't, I quite like the sound of myself. But I thought to myself, if we bring that into 
uh, the Thursday stream, I think we'll end up with a lot of damage crop. So I thought, well, better not do that. As much as I'd like to do it, you know, this is supposed to be, supposed to be about fun, isn't it? So that's a little bit kind of hardcore, that one. Bring Dolls to Truck Fest. That, that's the plan, East End Cockney. That is the plan, sir. Uh, let's put my lights on. Put the lag lights on. Woohoo! Nighttime harvesting. City Skylands, Acme Chief. Uh, I, I'm tempted to go back to City Skylands. But I'm just trying to resist right now. <laughs> I don't know. We need to work out what we do on Saturday nights, I guess. The, the thing is, I don't want to... Like, when you start City Skylines, you've got to commit to a lot of it. it. It's like many, many hours. And where do you decide to stop? That's the question. At what point do you say, right, we're going to stop that, though? That's the, that's the tricky bit. The end game. Do we just say, oh, once we reach 100k, that's it? Or... Do we go further? I like how the end of the pipe's got its own little light on it. That's really cool. You would love it, Hunter. I would too. <laughs> Truckfest Peterborough uh, Suicide Bob. Which is like one of the bigger ones, one of the more established ones. But it's it's one of the biggest ones that's near me, put it that way. There is actually Truckfest Kent, which is technically nearer, but is nowhere near as big as Peterborough. T Peterborough's a pretty significant one. Don't forget, guys, when you're done with equipment, make sure you bring it back. Yeah, Snowfall expansion and trams. It does look nice. Apparently it works with... Um, Jay Spence, are you on about Simcopter? Because Sim Simcopter was streaming it this morning. Um... Apparently, the what the way they've done it, the way Paradox has done it, is the snow textures will be applied to any mod. So if you've got a mod that brings in, I don't know, an IKEA building, then it will still be able to apply snow to it, which I thought was very clever. Because otherwise, it would have meant that if you'd have used, if you'd have bought the expansion, gone into like a snow map, and then had mods installed, and they all just stand out because they're not covered in snow and ice. So apparently, it worked. Uh, you do not need to subscribe to see the mods, to Tiger. Although we haven't got all of the mods um, that we're using tonight. We haven't got them all in the spreadsheet yet. Which we'll do after the stream. But no, it's just a spreadsheet. Along the bottom or top you'll see the tab list for each game. And just click on the farming sim tab. But they, it does need updating. I won't lie. You don't think that's how it's worked, Harry Bow? How what works, dude? Twitch delay is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Let's turn off the lag lights. Slow down time a touch now. Looks like Vrome might be... Uh, oh, he's not full yet. How do you update this game? You either, if you've got Steam, it'll update automatically. Uh, otherwise, if you go to the farming simulator, farmingsimulator.com slash updates or something, you can download a patch. Do I have a PS4? I do Minecraft, but I don't tend to go on it very much. I'm mostly on PC. It's okay, Vrom, we've got uh, lots of skills ready to take the bat on. Twitch delay spread magic fairy dust all around you. <laughs> Possibly. You found the mod, it's called Bible Objects. That sounds like it, Silent Mountain. Yeah, Bible Objects.
some awkward shape, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I didn't realise that we actually had another harvester behind us. In the form of Mr. Leonard. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Hey Brokaw, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm using a wheel, Alex. I'm using a G27. I would have thought Vrome would have been 100% full by now. I didn't look behind me, Leonard, so I didn't see you. This 23 is actually quite a big field, Steve. Nice. Why am I slacking on trucking Darius, dude? Real life stuff happens, you know? skipping days. Do you remember the days where I never did daily videos? That was just about two weeks ago. <laughs> Actually, no, that must be three weeks ago, because we're on episode 21, aren't we? I need to record some more. I'm going to try and record some stuff tomorrow. That's another reason not to stream tomorrow. I need to record some content. Because recording, I can just get up in the morning, start doing some recording, uh, edit some stuff together, and then kick it all off rendering while I go out, and then when I come back, I can then upload it overnight, and then we'll have stuff for Saturday. That's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. Yeah, Coyle, you're probably looking at Saturday. Assuming I record tomorrow, you're going to be looking at Saturday. Busy man, bother. Seven days a week, 18 hours a day. <laughs> That's pretty much my life right there. I tend to stop when body shuts down and goes, nope, but I'm looking to balance things a bit better, hence why joining the gym. Remember the days when you used to only watch Sunday Night Trucking streams? There's still a lot of people who do, um, so, which kind of surprises me, to be honest, because, I don't know, I just think, like, if I, it's weird, if I watch a streamer, like, the streamers that I like watching, I don't just watch them play one game. Admittedly, some of the games some streamers play, I don't watch them play. But I don't just watch them play one game. So I kind of find that weird, how you how some people only tune in for Sunday Night Trucking. I've got a bit of a gap here, that's fine. Why is there a stop sign in the field, Spider? Because <laughs> people keep knocking the signs down. Um, and also, I knocked a stop sign down. It got caught in the header and eventually fell out. If you look around the map, we've knocked all the signs down. <laughs> yeah, I did pull the bird. I joined a gym uh, this afternoon. Mrs. Me and Mrs. Squirrel went down to the gym and we joined. Uh, my membership activates on Saturday. And Mrs. Squirrel's activates on Monday. So, because she's got her friend down for the next few days. So she's like, there's no point starting it until Monday for me. So I was like, okay. So I'm going to be going down on Saturday. YouTube's your only job. No, I do YouTube and Twitch. But that is my that is my job, Jack. I'm a, I'm a full-time uh, professional, as it were. Became professional 1st of April last year. As many of the chat well know. Uh, do I have some plans for tomorrow's stream? I do, Fabby. Uh, there won't be one. <laughs> Look at the schedule, there's no stream tomorrow. Start in lengthways. No point doing the shortages. How much do you earn a month in Sim247? 
Do you, do you honestly think I'm going to answer a question about my finances? <laughs> do you really think? I'm, like, if you met somebody in the streets, would you walk up to them and say, hey, how much do you earn a month? They'd look at you like, that's just like none of your business. <laughs> do you not think that's a little bit personal? The main thing is, I earn enough money to keep doing it. That's that's always the big concern when you when you become a full-time professional at anything that's not a paid salary, right? Well, you don't have guaranteed income. Um, if, if you're self-employed, if you own your own business, if you set out on your own, if you do YouTube or Twitch or whatever, the biggest, the biggest worry is not having enough money to pay the bills because it's not a salary anymore. That's the big concern. You just want to because you're thinking of going full-time. Well, it doesn't make any difference, Sim, because, you know, your earnings and my earnings and every other streamer and YouTuber's earnings are all completely different. All very, very different. And like I say, there are no guarantees here. Um, you could be doing well one month and the next month you're not so well for, for any number of reasons. On YouTube, uh, you'll find that income uh, varies depending on what month it is. December is peak because the advertisers pay the most money. January is the lowest. You get this kind of rise and drop like that. It's well known in YouTube circles. Twitch is different again, you know, because Twitch is a different kind of economy. Try a new game. Do you not do you not like this game, Trenson fan? Let's go over here. Oops. All right, Phil twenty three is ready for reseeding. Whenever, whenever he's ready for that. Uh, it's going to be swap over time anyway. That's true. Yeah, swap over time's coming up. So. Uh Finish the last little bits that you're doing. Thank you very much, guys. Hope you had fun. Maybe we'll see you in the final slot if you get back in. When are you going to get a W900 and trucking diary, Spider? Um, so, from what I know... Okay, so the, the W900 is out, obviously. Um, the engine sounds aren't great, but there is a mod out now, I think, that I've not tried, which replaces the... W900 engine sound with a fairly decent, I think, I think it's a cat, I can't remember. There's no ISX yet, I think. Tomorrow's a good day for the Kenworth W900 stream, train sim. <laughs> You've obviously not been listening to anything that I've said in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's try and plan ahead here before everybody gets in. Uh, let's see. Growth. Okay, when do you want to do the shift change now? Uh, I think they're doing it now, yeah. Let's tap out. Let's do that. Uh, what's the plan for us to do, though? What are we going to be doing? Well, that's why I'm just looking at the map right now and thinking to myself, what should we do here? Uh, yeah. Fields, seven and eight, harvestable. I'm in a harvester. You could jump in the other one. Yeah, yeah, can do. Uh, four is growing again. 17, I think, is ready for a harvest. Can't find a harvester yet. Yeah, I'll wait till they drop out. Money we got ninety thousand. Okay, I've got myself a harvester. At a, oh, there's trail. We should sell barley because the price has gone up. Nice RLW is where it needs to go. So we'll get somebody doing that. Mm -hmm. 1422, 1486. Yeah, RLW for barley. I don't even know where RLW is. Crikey, look at the mini map. Where's RLW? Um, 
No idea. Yes, Catster. <laughs> oh, I can see it. It's in the middle, just below field 10, uh, where the chicken coop is. Wait, are you looking on, on the map with the 9 key to see that? Yes. How the heck... Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. The, yeah, the white letters. Well, that's not so bad. It's an easy drive. So somebody can do that. I take it we... Have we got any trees that we can harvest yet or not? Uh, no, not yet. So like all the trees that you see just along the roadside, you can't can't take any of them. Oh, you can, um, but you have to drag them to the cell point. So because we haven't got a proper trailer thing for them. Mm. Scores playing easy. Uh, Lap Martin gaming. Um, what do you mean, exactly? Bear in mind that it's not just me playing. <clears throat> There's a whole lot of people, any of whom will have variable skill levels in farming sim. So you have to take the view that it's better to have a stream where it's not too difficult and everybody enjoys themselves. It's better to do that than to make it like ultra hardcore. People don't know what they're doing. There's all kinds of mods we could bring into this that unless you're experienced at farming sim, would just make it very unenjoyable and confusing. So we take the, p the path of making it enjoyable. Good evening, Cornwall boy. How you doing? Saturday, Trent Savannah. I don't know. I'm not sure what we're doing. I'll have a think on Saturday. <laughs> Jack the Ripper. Hmm. So, like, current options are Sherlock or um, Skylines or other stuff. Definitely not ATS. Because <laughs> I'm not doing that the day before Sunday night trucking. Uh, bye uh, bye, so Charlie. Field nice to you, sir. Field 10. Round off the edges of fields, make it easy. Oh, you mean like. Sorry, what? Uh, are we doing field 10 first, yeah? I don't want to do a poll. I want to do a decision myself. Uh, I, th I can't see the map yet, but I think we was heading up somewhere. Alright. I think Trouble I'm still is. down at the farm. I have no clue where the header thing is for this. Don't know how far I can drive it on the road. Field 10, did you say? Uh, yeah, ten, we is got it 10? 10. We've we got 7 and 8. Uh, sorry, yeah, 7 and 8. I'm going to try and drive this. I don't know how far I'll get. Because I, I just don't know where the trailer is. Uh, we don't have any corn. Nope. Yeah, we did flight sim last night. It's not going to be flight sim, I don't think. Could be scrap mechanic, I'm not sure. Daisy, no. Not spider, dude. I don't do Daisy. Oh, hang on. There's 19, Benny. Ah! <laughs> yeah, the thing is, Skylines would be a nice change, Howie, but the problem is, if I start Skylines, I'm going to have to play it for a while. We can't just start it and then not, you know. It's the same with Sherlock. If we start it, effectively I'm committing to a number of weeks of doing that, aren't I? Because we're going to have to carry it on. Let's find out if um, 19 is ready to harvest. Okay, I think 19 is ready. I'm going to start on that, I think. Coles, could you probably go around the other side and give the trailer a push? Ums is an option. It's definitely an option. Not papers, please. Thank you, Coles. There's not much point me putting the pipe out yet. I'll just be banging into trees left, right and centre. Oh, we're putting the pipe out soon, Jeffrey. It's it's a bit tricky on this field. I've got to go around the outside of it first. It's 
So you're on what? 19? Uh, yes, I think. Alright. Imagine living in that house, guys. With the combine coming right up to you like that. You'd be like, whoa. That's a bit close. I suppose it's only once a year, but... Or twice a year, maybe. Right, I'll head up and I'll start on 7, then. Okay. This is Frosty. Good evening again. Uh, nope, we've done that one. Uh, let me go back a bit. Mick Scotty boy. Four months support. Thank you, Mick Scotty boy. I don't want to miss a bit here. Man, this field. Tricky one. Why is there, like, crop going all the way into the dirt bit, though? How much was the G27? Uh, they used to be... Well, <laughs> they used to be about £300 on the Logitech website, and then PC World used to sell them for £150 every now and again. Um, but I, I don't know if you can get them anymore. They don't... I don't think they make them. Mr. Buzz Pro Media, does that answer your question? So can you stop asking it now? <laughs> Is there a new ATR video? Do you mean ATS? No. As you're harvesting around the edges so it's a bit easier. What do you mean? Uh oh, it broke the fence. Couldn't see because of the camera in the tree. There we go. Hurry up, Jeffrey. You got two seconds. I think um, these combines have got like a, a warning alarm sound on them as well. So I think when it got to about eighty percent full, it went ding ding like this. Yeah, I hear that. Whoever left that header trailer though was just a genius. Uh, Anto, you'll probably have to go and empty that because it was uh, wheat and this is canola. Are you pre old British? What does that mean, Spider? I honestly don't know what that means. You just bought a farmer sim for £12 on Steam, Nikolai. It's pretty good. It's on offer right now. G920 has gone back up to 299 Hellraiser. Uh, y well, you could get that for 150 off PC World. I think you're better off waiting for him to put it on sale again because 300 is like, you know, if when, once you know that you can get it for 150, paying 300 just burns. To be honest. You thought it was the doorbell? <laughs> no. Are your family all British? No, that's what pure British means. Uh, my mother was British and my father was British. Um, and I'm British, if that answers your question. <laughs> I'm not Squeak. sure of the Let relevance. Let around one okay. lap first, and then that'll give you an, uh, an area to drive in. I think he just hit the fence. Good fun, Jeffrey, isn't it? Trying to be the trailer around here. I did it. It was, it was great fun. <laughs> so you're 100% British blooded. I don't know. I, I I I can't understand what he's trying to get at. I've answered the question. What is British blood anyway? I mean, let's face it. We got invaded for hundreds of years. <laughs> what what does it mean? Back silence, Sean. Hey, Paul, I sent a Steam gift to your mailbox. If you already have it, feel free to give it away. Otherwise, it's just to keep and play. Keep the awesome work. Thank you, Sean. Back silence, Sean. I shall have a look. 
thank you very much. <laughs> well, I did what Jeffrey's doing now when Vrome was harvesting. Uh, and because it, it's just crazy, like trying to keep up with the harvester, because the harvesters, you get alongside it, and then the harvester will just turn, like every 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't know, Caster. I, I, I honestly don't know what he means by it. What do you mean, Diesel? What, what does that abbreviation mean? Six pounds for farming sim. That's probably about the cheapest you could get it. A hundred percent Swedish blood scan here. <laughs> Uh, the field to cut grass is right up at the do top. Do I have a dog? Field one. Guys, do I have a dog? <laughs> Maybe we can answer him with emoticons. <laughs> Maybe I have a dog. Maybe he's white. And maybe his name's Doyle. Just maybe. Alright, let's finish off all these little faff bits. Oh, hello. Sweet. There's a picture of a dog. Who hey, could ready. that be? <laughs> that might be my dog. Tomo50, two months support. Thank you, Tomo. Yeah, let's get this bit here and then we're done. Could do with a trailer on field seven if anyone's free. Trailer to field seven, trailer to field seven. Thank you. <laughs> <Bing -bong>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, field 19 needs reseeding whenever anybody's ready. Squirrel actually has a pet squirrel. Squirrels don't make particularly good pets, if I'm honest. They're wild, naturally. Uh, thank you, Captain75. Now then, I wonder... I've not done this yet. I wonder if it works the same as the last one does. I'm going to guess it does. I wonder if it'll clip as badly as the last one. Seems to be a lot more clearance though. Does that look about right? Maybe back a touch. Uh okay. That's not good. That's not good. Come back, come back. Let me try that again. Maybe a bite here. It just kind of looks like it. It kind of looks like it just breaks. <laughs> I, I, is it the wrong side? Do you think it matters? It's on backwards. I can't get it from the other side though. Colds, can you do me a favour and turn that trailer around for me, please? Weird. Uh, wait a sec, I've got some catching up to do here. Um, where are we? Tomo 52 months right. McScotty boy, high school, been watching you since your earlier Euro truck days and you've kept me entertained all the time, so I thought it's about time I gave something back. Keep doing what you're doing. You're thank you so much, McScotty boy. First delivery as well, sir, thank you. 
Um, I don't know, Steve. I'm just using the driver. Mm-hmm. I said that. I, yeah. bet, I bet I could probably just go to a completely different field. What am I on? 19. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had a look yet, see which one's already. I could actually go to 16, you know. Yeah, 16's just over the road. Yeah, I can't get down that road, I don't think. Actually, Coles, I'm, I'm wondering if I can just drive to 16. Wait a sec. Oh, God, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. No, I'll take the sign with us. No! Okay, one sign down. Yeah, I got that, Coles. That's cool. Uh, wait, this is 16. I think. Is this ours? Well, it's like mostly done. But not completely done. <laughs> it's this little bit here that's not finished. It's so weird. Okay, let's give it a whirl. You need to unfold the implement. What are you talking about? What's wrong with it? <laughs> Why is it not working? You must first unfold the implement header. Wait, is there an unfold button? Fold the harvester. What? Uh, unfold the header. Oh, wow, there's actually an extra... What? Does that just put the camera up? It has, hasn't it? It's basically put the camera up, though. This thing has a camera. How oh, cool. Are we harvesting? Yay! Right, uh, 111 Polar Bear. Thank you, McScotty, for your first delivery, sir. McScotty, I haven't had... Get, I haven't got a dog anymore. He died at 10.18 this morning. My house feels empty. Dude! Oh my god. You lost your dog this morning? What the heck? I'm really sorry to hear that, Polar Bear. Uh, that's field 18, I think. That must feel really strange. You have my condolences. I can't see anything I'm doing here. I thought we had a, a mod that stops the camera from freaking out behind trees and stuff. Uh, we do, but it still it basically what the mod does is when you uh, when the camera goes behind a building or behind trees, normally it would zoom all the way in to the vehicle, and then when the focus has moved, it'll zoom all the way back out. Well, this mod that we've got it stops that so that right. you can basically clip through buildings basically gotcha mr icliffe i'm tempted to buy a proper shop microphone <laughs> to do your announcements lol has cole seen the tree uh field seven is ready for seeding again i actually thought cole's was going to go straight into that tree then seeding with canola Mem Brooks 88 thank you for subscribing, sir. I've only just seen that, M. Brooks. I do apologise. Let me give you a little toot in a second. All right. Oh, listen to that horn. M. Brooks, welcome to the Nut House. Thank you for supporting the channel. Welcome to the community. Uh, Spec Silent Sean. Is this some guy's house? He's going to come after me. Right, let's put the pipe out. Maybe that was a bad idea, just saying. That's oh, okay. Spec Sign Sean, would you be able uh, to check that you received the gift? Just want to make sure, give you a minute. It's not actually got it. Cheers, hang on. Uh, uh, yes, I think that's you. Spec Sign Sean, you sent me. <laughs> You sent me City Skull and Snowfall, is that it? Thank you very much, sir. Yes, I have received it. 
have received it. Uh, there we go. Cool. Thank you so much. You had two guinea pigs. No. Oh, God. What am I doing? I'm not concentrating. I just went all down that side, though, without... Um, it's because it's canola. You get canola blindness. Uh, P3D is not on Steam, oops, if you have to buy it from the um, Lockheed Martin website and then you have to download it from that only. It is not on Steam, it is not, it's not even, they don't class it as a consumer product. That's why FSX is on Steam and P3D is not. It's not licensed for entertainment purposes, it's licensed for training and simulation purposes. They're very picky about that. They have to be because that's what their license allows. <laughs> Oh, did we get people to sell uh, barley? We didn't, did we? Uh, don't think we did. You ordered this from Amazon. It's coming tomorrow. Of it? We did. You maybe not regret your choice, weirdo. <laughs> You'll enjoy it, sir. So. Can't wait for Dovetail's new flight sim, Acme Chief. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what it's like. Would I recommend P3 to casual players? No, Super Donut, I would not. Make sure you're planting on Field 7 no. Canola. You're better off with FSX if you're just going to be casual. It's Ultimately, it's going to get too expensive otherwise. You can buy farming still on Steam, yeah. Why is that texture just freaking out? Look at that. There's always X-Plane as well, X-Plane's on, um, on Steam. How old is this guy? I'm 16, uh, BS Win, BS Win Flu. On your EFB with care cards, you can't find FSU IPC, you have it installed a folder though. Hmm. Can't find FSU IPC. You don't believe I'm 16, Ryan? Why not, dude? <laughs> Hard paper round, Angus. Indeed. My mum was always trying to get me to use uh, olive oil from a young age, and I refused. And uh, well, this is the result. I'm in squirrel years. I'm 16 squirrel years. Uh, Harold, if you let me go around once, it'll make it easier for you to uh, follow around. I don't want to drive the Optimus Prime truck. That's what, like, 13-year-olds do, you know? I'm 16 now. I'm a bit more grown up. I don't want to uh, drive an Optimus Prime truck. How's the T doing after the adjustment, my jock? They've settled down again. It's uh, it's not painful. I can eat once more. <laughs> I have braces. It's obviously I'm 16, right? Yeah, 17 in April. I'm so getting old. Is SCS adding more friends to ETS, uh, middleman? Did you listen to Pavel when he came on the stream? Uh, we did an interview with him a couple of weeks ago. He answered all those questions. That was one of them. Uh, the highlight is on Twitch if you want to watch it. When am I turning 17 squirrel years, uh, Mr. Whip? I am turning 17 squirrel years on April 26th. I think, you know what? I'm just going to get down the side now. Truck and Diaries Andy will return. I have to record some stuff tomorrow before I go out. So, morning recording, early afternoon, I'll be editing and then I'll be out. Hey, Paul2366, you have the right attitude, bro. Exactly. You have the right attitude, sir. What that last Sunday night trucking? Huh? 
Uh, yes, I will play ETS 2. As I've said many times, I have not given up on it. I've even Facebook tweeted it. I'm playing ATS at the moment, but ETS is very much still there. Does a white screen work for chroma key? Not very well, Alloy, because the chances are that the... Well, it's more than the chances are. It's almost a foregone certainty that there will be something white that you're wearing or a highlight on your skin that's white and it will chroma key it. The reason you choose a colour like green, bright green, is because it's not very likely that you'll have a bright green colour on. Uh, they used to use a blue screen, if you remember, but bright green is far less common than a blue, so, you know, green is the more common thing. You can use whatever colour you want, but um, as long as you're not wearing it in any way. But white is a seriously bad choice for a chroma key. Bromod's France out soon. How do you know, Caridon? Flying Dishwasher, nine months support. Thank you, Flying Dishwasher. I never thought a dishwasher would support me for nine months. Particularly not a flying one. Uh, yeah, TMCN will come back as well, Oliver. Everything has just been, like, ATS crazy the last few weeks. It was a massive launch for me. It was a massive launch for the channel. Um, very significant. And... I put a lot of effort into it to making sure that I, you know, gave people what they wanted to see, which was a lot of ATS content, but some people think, oh, you're only doing that now, you're not going doing anything else, and it's simply not true. All the other stuff that I was doing will come back. PS4 Gamer, the W900 came out on Monday. There's a blog post on Steam about the France DLC. Okay. If it's a hot point delivery, definitely not. What, a hot point dishwasher? When you do City Scarlet's build a new town, that will be 100% uh, guaranteed. That I won't be start. you know, I'll be starting a brand new town. Lovely canola. Bad news for promos, France DLC. Well, you know, they released Scandinavia and they adapted, didn't they? It's only the same. Oops, hang on. Is that definitely empty? Yep, there we go. Sweet! You know where to take that, Coles? Right. Growth. Let's see. Um, 18 is now. 16 has just been done. Uh, 16 is ready for reseed now. 17. Is anybody harvesting 17? No, they're not. Let me go and sort 17 out. Supposed to put that on the other way, aren't I? I think it's 17 just down the road. I could probably drive to 17. I think I have to put it on this way. <clears throat> We're going to go 17, science guy. plan. Beautiful. He'll deliver that to 17. It's a plan with no drawbacks. 
Uh, is that actually growing? I think it is. <laughs> I'm just driving all over the crop here. Ooh, coals, 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 coals. What kind of driving is that, dude? Do you know, we're supposed to be professional farmers. Look at this! You see, that's why at roundabouts we have, like, a direction that we go around coals. I guess you've just gone round one way, he went round the other. He didn't. Well, he kind of half went round one way and then he binned it into a tree and then carried on driving. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a mess. Hello. Wow, look at that sign! That's awesome. Whatever you want, science guy. Might want to disable the higher worker function as my push to talk is the same as the higher worker. Uh, yeah, we need to disable that, Jeffrey. Steve. Right, I'm looking into it. Hold on. Beautiful. Sound is now free. Let's get this way. Get the smoke coming out of this right, thing. I've turned off higher worker function, uh, so you'll not be able to hire any workers now. And sorry, Harold, for the delay. Why would you make you push to talk to a higher worker anyway? <laughs> Why would you do that? How about some OMSI 2 engineer, Kenny? I don't know. I, I've not decided about Saturday yet. There's a, at least three options. <clears throat> Norwegian boy, how you doing? Thank you so much, dude. Welcome back. What do I think of the map so far, my joke? It, it, it's very... Um, it's weird. It kind of reminds me of a, a British map with its narrow kind of roads, but... It's okay. I don't like or dislike it per se. There's some nice things I see, but... I don't know. I like Sandy Bay because I really like the cliff and the, the tower and the beach and you could jump off it and that was like, wow, it's so fun. There's no such gimmicks in this one. It's still a decent map. It's a good quality map. Bangers and mash and beans, Sim. Nothing wrong with that. For breakfast, I had a bacon and egg sandwich. It was lovely. So good. Although, right, get this. Try to picture this. So I'm sat there with my laptop. Right, so I'm, I'm tapping away on my laptop. And then Mrs. Squirrel brings in what I think is... Because I asked for a bacon sandwich. She was making bacon. She said, what do you want? I said, um, I have a bacon sandwich. And she was like, okay. But, unbeknownst to me, she put a fried egg in there. So I'm expecting a bacon sandwich. So I pick it up with my left hand. I've got my laptop in my right hand like this. Pick it up. I chow down on this thing, and the egg explodes, which I wasn't expecting, so I just bit it like a bacon sandwich, and the egg exploded, and the egg just run all the down my left, I'm, I'm still there going, ah, and my laptop is right underneath my arm, I'm thinking, yeah, if I get egg yolk on this laptop, it's GG, it's just, nope, so, uh, yeah, I had to put my laptop down with my right hand, Finish off my bacon and egg sandwich, <laughs> and then more or less have a shower. So, <laughs> so I went to the bathroom and just uh, washed yeah, my hands, please, get all the egg off my hand. It was an explosion, Mirska. Exactly that. It was an explosion. It would have helped though if she'd have actually told me that she'd put an egg in there. That would have been great. Yeah, I think she was yoking, to be honest. Fine, man. She was definitely yoking with that one. Uh, no ATS for today, Thomas. Or tomorrow. There'll be one Saturday, most likely. Uh, well, that's what you got. If you're a Mac, I'm done. Only kidding. It's a MacBook Air. It's uh, four, seven. Field 8 is also ready for seeding. Field yeah. 8 Ma ready for Mac seeding. Laptops Thank are, you. Mac Ping laptops pong. are very, very good. Very good. The MacBook Air is a great little laptop. I love it. It's just 
it's just great. It's everything you want out of a laptop. It's it's quiet, it's battery life, the great screen, solid, quick. I mean, what's not to like about it? It's portable, it's super slim. It's just, I mean, seriously, as a laptop, it's just fantastic. Uh, I like my uh, spider, I like my um, bacon. Give me my egg on bacon. The bacon I like not overly cooked so that it's hard and leathery. I like it to be kind of soft, but I like the, the bit of fat around the edge to be crispy. I don't, I don't like chewy fat. I cannot stand Did that. Did you just hear me say cedars to field eight? Uh, I was kind of chatting, so I'm not sure what you said. Uh, I don't know if it came through, guys, but I could do with cedars on uh, field eight, if possible. I don't know if it came through, so I'm just repeating. I'm out tomorrow, score fan, and I need to do some recording in the morning. Yeah, I said Mario Kart was a scary game. Uh, you need I to did. plant wheat on field eight. Thank you. I might try and drive around this in a bit of a circular fashion now, rather than keep stopping. I requested a cedar on field eight. And it's literally, they've all turned up, all four of them. <laughs> it's like, go, 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 see them, see them, come on, go, go. <laughs> it's awesome. They just all come across the bottom of the screen, they're like, I'm going to get there first, I'm getting there first, go, go, quick. <laughs> Asparagus wrapped in bacon. I think I might have had that ghost. I've got a feeling I've tried that before. The thing is about asparagus is, for me, it's got to be cut just right. You'll not be able to empty this squeak, it's barley. You know what I mean? It's got to be... Seeded it like, if it's uh, overcooked, it's just... Bleh. It's all squishy and horrible. But if it's done just right, it's kind of got a slight firmness to it, and, and... Oh, it's really tasty, then. Yeah, PD. It was released on Monday. So, yeah, the video was made um, before the release. Actually, no, the video was made after release, because it didn't end the video. I said to you, I think the w 900 is out, but I'm not going to buy it just yet. Something like that. I can't remember. Thomas, no, I, I said there's not. The next one will be Saturday, I think. <laughs> now you want bacon, Tori Kafka. Mm. I don't know what time it is where you are, but... Good luck with that if it's uh, evening. And I, and I see you're going about the hottest ghost chili curry sauce. I don't like ghost chilies very much. You know, the ghost chilies are like one chi one ghost chili. You can put an entire pot of food and it will make it instantly hot. But as a chilli, it doesn't really taste very nice. There are some chilies that you try that have a really nice taste to them, and ghost chilli is not one of them. It's just kind of hot for the sake of being hot, if that makes any sense. You can have breakfast or dinner. Well, have you ever had a bowl of cornflakes at 11 o'clock at night? I've, I have. It's pretty cool. I think I remember an advertising campaign from Kellogg's many years ago. It's been a time to uh, aid the growing. Okay. Many years ago, where they were trying to convince you to... They were trying to say to you, Bre you know, Kellogg's cornflakes are not just for breakfast. You know, you can eat them any time of the day. And it's true, but people didn't really kind of... They just ignored it. They're like, I just have it for breakfast. I don't care that I can eat it later. Cornflakes of freezing cold milk, exactly, Tom Tom. Just, just a wonderful thing. Makes it hard to sleep afterwards. Well, not as hard, Finn, and not as hard as um, <laughs> trying to go to bed on an empty stomach. That's pretty tough. You're sitting and your stomach's rumbling. But if you go to the fridge, get the milk and have a bowl of cornflakes, I think you'll find you'll sleep better. 
It's too hard to get a message to squirrel. I give up bother. Yay! <laughs> I don't mean that. <clears throat> it's like brunch and topper. Topper? I don't know, MG Green. Um, helicopter says I'm kind of thinking about possibly doing it on DCS more than anything. Or X-Plane. Because DCS and X-Plane both have pretty decent flight models for helicopters. Whereas FNS, FSX and P3D don't have quite as sophisticated blade modelling. So I was thinking of doing that, but again, it's all down to time. Beautiful. Uh, I do not have it for PS4, no. I have it on PC. Okay, what did I park the trailer? There it is. way around as he put it I wonder oh you scumbag why would you put it that way around dude that is the <laughs> that is the wrong way around the Carolina Reaper chili never tried it I'm gonna have to pick this up and move it myself sorry I'm just a bit lost calls Oh, you too. Mm-hmm. Oh, no! Trying to work my way over to field four. But there's a fence in the way, so I can't go directly across the field. So I just did a full U-turn, and then I thought, wait, no, I can get over there. So I'm doing that now. Going over the field. Oh, come on, game. Are you serious? What pixel do I have to put it on? I think the science guy definitely part of this. I don't even know if I can attach this. I'm going to try, though. Yeah. This harvester can't transport trailers, Mieska. You want to rethink that one? <laughs> No, you just have to be on the right pixel, otherwise it doesn't accept it. It's really annoying. You got a lock in place? Is that kind of locked? I'm not sure. It settled down nicely when I did it the first time. There you go. That's it. It's beautiful. Fantastic. Phil 17 is ready for seeding. Okay, they're all growing. We can't, uh, we can't harvest. Nothing left to harvest. Okay. Well, there's nothing left to harvest, I don't think, Steve. -o. Sorry? There appears to be nothing left to harvest. Yeah, I'm just waiting on field four. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the next one to uh, pop in and finish. Yeah, Coles, you'll be fine. We're skimming through the night, but we'll have to put lights on. Draw a squirrel log on that field. Listen, Master Mike, you try drawing my squirrel log with pen and paper. That's tricky enough. I'm trying to draw it with a vehicle? <laughs> Good luck with that. Is this about to go ready? I'm not sure. Oh, 
Um, back at the start in the farm coals, there's one behind one of the doors. There's a uh, bunch of cedars. Did we not get those mobile cedars? Uh, what you mean the mobile cedar trailers? Yeah, we did. I should think about those. Yeah, we've we've got them. Oh. They're um, they're in one of the sheds somewhere. Price Definitely bought one. one. Well, we bought two of them because I've uh, I used one to try and fill up the potato harvester, but it didn't work. Wow, that price just changed, scumbag. Barley on 17. Uh, whatever's currently there now. What's 17? Um, yeah, barley on 17. Do you like vats, then? <laughs> I'm not sure if like is the right word. It, it's a bit stressful, and it, definitely at the start, trying to... I, the problem with that sim is just trying to hear everybody. Like, A, it's easy to miss something if you're streaming, because you could be chatting, and then there's so, and there's so much, like, noise. They might chat to you and you miss it, which happened a couple of times. Uh, but Dave picked it up. Uh, but the other thing is, like, the quality of the voice between controller to controller, like, some guys are really nice and clear, and other controllers, either the microphone is rubbish, or they just talk so quickly. You know, you're just like, why are you talking so fast? Just slow it down a little bit so we can understand it. So if you are if you are new to it, like me, you just you're just blown away by some of it. I'm just waiting for Field Four to activate. Uh, Dave to a one nine zero going to the Australian version of St Helens today. Does the UK version have a, a beach? Nope. Looked on Google Maps and looks like it doesn't. It definitely doesn't, Dave. Just checking with someone who's from there. I can confirm the nearest thing St. Helens has to a beach um, would be probably the sand, the part of sand outside of Pilkington's or United Glass when it was there. That's the nearest thing it has to a beach. Vatsim uses a muffler, it's called something else. Vatsim uses a really bad codec. That's what Vatsim uses. Did you practice on Vatsim? Do you feel if I understood most things? I had a couple of goals, MG, of Vatsim. Um, so I'm kind of okay with the whole departure now. I'm kind of okay with the, you know, getting clearance, uh, getting over to the runway, like take off. I'm, I'm all right with that. Where I think I am still need more practice is uh, arrival, the whole arrival, because that's where you can be routed. And some of the arrival routing they give you is a bit confusing, to say the least. Okay, this is just coming online here. Whoa. Is that misty enough? Wow, it's turned foggy this morning. You're not kidding. There's a place called Sandy Bay on the Carmel Dam in St. Helens. I don't remember that. I used to fish at Carmel Dam, said Sedster. Used to go fishing though. Stars are the worst. Yeah, it's just the, the names they give you. Like, I think there was an example when we were coming in yesterday. He gave us an example. Like, the one he said, when, the name he referred to it as, when you pass something, he said, take heading 120, whatever it was. If you look at the actual name of the, of the VOR, it had a completely different name. It was just referred to as... It was like it said GWR, but it was referred to as, you know, Gwainan or something. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? I can't see this waypoint, but Dave knew what it was. Why is Phil 4 taking so long to become available? I know, right? Which corner are you in? Well, the near edge is... is ready. But everything else on it is not. You turn your lights off, by the way. Whereabouts are you? Just look to your right, I can see you. I'm on the south side and you're on the east. Look on your mini map, bottom left. Yeah, I see, see you on the number four is. Oh yeah, I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right I can there. See you down and you're top right in the corner. But how come you could tell that my lights were on then? Because I can see. <laughs> wow, I can only just see you down there. But feel six, not really. Eighteen is. We don't have yeah, there's anyway. a little tuft where I am that's ready, and the rest of it is like nope. The waiting game. Uh, Fireman, yeah, using a PC. 
GWI's Great Western Railway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was an example. I can't remember the exact code. You'd have to watch it back. The only annoying thing was was um, about last night was when we were coming on the approach to Gatwick, my P3D crashed. Right as I put the landing gear down, it was a beautiful approach. The weather, it was like evening. It was brilliant. But my landing into Jersey was was amazing, to be honest. The weather was just incredibly bad. It's getting blown everywhere. Oh, ding let's, dong. Uh, let's sell that canal of peeps. Sell, sell, sell. You got a trailer and it's empty. Go and get the canola and sell it. So look at the best place to sell it. What was the offer? Canola. Yeah, you have to sell it at Rafizen. Rafizen. Yeah, Rafizen. It's uh, just above field five and six. So it's just above field five and six. Yeah, it's flashing. If you press the nine key, it's flashing oh, next to field six. Take the canola there and get the money. Liquid gold. Are you going to sit in somebody 57, fine man? I don't think I am. Unless I'm specifically asked to go, then my plan is not to. Although I plan to go for to 58, which is in summer. I quite like the summer insomnia. It's pretty cool. It's probably the best one, if I'm honest. It was crosswind Hellcaster. Why is this field taking so long? Well, somebody slowed time down. Yeah, because I didn't want that thing to expire. Oh, right, yeah, I see what you mean. I speed it up again, but I don't know how long it lasts for. Uh, let me have a look. 12 hours. Okay, so we've got to about 10 o'clock at night, probably. Yeah. Let's try yeah, and I, get this keep thing to it, ding. Go up to about 3 o'clock, and hopefully it should have grown by then. It's just weird that there's a little bit here that's already grown, but the rest of it's, like, not at all yet. Not flown out of Exeter, you know. I-57 Scottish Insomnia? No, the, ne the next one is... They're all at NEC now. The next one is at NEC in March, I think. You're right, 444 Blue, I won't. to get to about three and then just give up on it I don't know yeah to be honest with you it looks like some of it's not even close to being ready thank you can we get Dolly as well no, it's not I need some schmackos though I don't have any mm, it is on the darker shade almost I just don't know why it's not jumped in it normally doesn't take this long there's one in Ireland fireman Yeah, I'm just trying to get some crops to grow coals, but we're aware of the um, the time restriction with the canola. I've seen the power boat racing at Carmel Dam. I have Thomas. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's no need for that. Where is he? Come here, boy. Like, you've done this so many times, doll, you really think, would think that you would have learned by now how it works. <laughs> right. I'm actually debating whether to go and siphon some of the seeds off the other field. This is doily. You know, just steal a little bit. Doyle hype. Oh, I've had a little bit more growth on my side. It's slowly popping in. Doily! He knows how to announce his arrival, you're not kidding. Look at them, not me. Them, see? Yeah. I get him to look at you by doing that. <laughs> right, one more. Nom, nom, nom. Down to those doors on the stream. <laughs> Looks like Doll has a moustache. He's probably been digging again. Right, last piece, you. Two strips. That's your lot. <laughs> nom nom, you're supposed to close your mouth when you chew, Doyle, you know. Bad manners. Say bye bye.
Uh, they've got all the, uh, and they are taking it for the uh, shop. Covered in mud now. GG door. <sighs> Sorry, just on a dolly trip. Um, it looks right, like a whole right. chunk. The centerpiece of this field is not ready, which implies that it should yep. be ready soon, I guess, if we speed up time. We just have to be careful. Yeah, we've got eight hours left of that sale, uh, but they have depleted the uh, stock that we had in, so, you know, oh, we've okay. probably only got one trailer full. Everybody went on strike because Dole was on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Right, so have we sold all our stock then? We've not sold it all yet, but they've got the full trailer's worth. He's just on his way up. He's just going past field seven. Just can't get this middle bit to ding, you know? I know. See, there's a lot more on your side, what's grown, but it's just that centre. Got seven hours. Yeah. Jeffrey, do you want to put the trailer header down and I'll uh, may as well do field uh, 16, is it? Is that one that's not ours yet? Wrong way, Jeffrey. Uh, no, 16 is ours. Um, All right, okay. If you see it, it's, it's long and small. We could do that. It'll take us about five minutes to do that and then maybe this will be ready. All right, I'll come down and uh, have a go. Just need to watch that time. Right, I'll slow down time now and let them get that canola sold. Is that all of it? They've, they've emptied the silo? Yes, pretty much. Okay. Uh, why do you like spicy foods? I don't like them because reasons. I, I've... I don't know. I've told you guys the story of. Um, whoops. I've told you guys the story of my youth, haven't I? When I was three, eating uh, vindaloo curry. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't. I mean, my mum had never tried a curry in her life and then got an unexplainable need to eat curry when she was pregnant with me. So. I never said. You know, all my life I've loved spicy food. I, I can't explain it. It's something to do with metabolism, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is weird. Why can I not cut that down? Uh, have you already got some stock in well, your this is zero uh, tank? percent, but it must have something in it. Mm. Dang it! Yep. Anybody got a trailer? <laughs> Actually, one of the canola guys. When you've dimmed the canola, can you come via? Um, field 16 I, I think I've got a small amount of stuff stuck in my harvester the thing is I can't see it when I look in it yeah I've got a little bit of barley in here so it would be pointless me coming over there because it's not barley actually scratch that 16's right. not fully grown all the stock has now been sold yeah, I know what it is. 16. Although it looks ready, it's not ready. Right, okay. Adam, do you need me to move or... Actually, we don't own that field, do we? It's fine. Yeah, I forgot it goes black. I don't know, whenever I see it like that, I always, it, to me it looks like it's it's ready, but it's not. That's not how it works. Uh, Stuart, UFC, 11 months of board. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, Fireman, 1558. Welcome to the Nuthouse, and thank you for subscribing and supporting the stream, Fireman. Can we give him a lovely little nutty welcome, everyone? Thank you so much. Um, do you know what, Steve? I might as well just make a start on this field or something. Um, four. I'm all right, yeah. KG. Uh, it's my bad, dude. I'm, I've not got anything left in. I've like 50 trailers just descended on me. <laughs> I've only got one with me. Okay, let's get some lights on here. A 
lag lights turned on. <laughs> Welcome, fireman. Is Farming Sim Gold Edition worth the money? I, I don't know, it depends how much you play Farming Sim, but it is on offer right now. I think all the Farming Sim is on offer. So, there's never a better time than when it's all on offer. Wow, so the money we're on. Sorry? The money we're on. We was on 90k. Yeah. They sold the canola on 420. Are you kidding me? Uh-huh. Yep. Sold for quite a lot of money. I love those canola sales. They're just brilliant. Oh, yeah. It's black gold. <laughs> Not kidding. Why are the lights lagging, Pharmacy 15? I what I was going to say, then. Um, Sorry. Oh, that was it. You know the, the drive control? Uh, not drive control. Uh, yeah, it was drive control, where when yeah. you drive across the crop, it damages it. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't use it now, because I've just seen, like, three people drive all over the crop. <laughs> that, that's why I said to the stream, I yeah. said, that's one of the reasons why we haven't used it, because I just suspect we'd have a lot of damaged crop. Ultimately, it's better that people just yeah. enjoy themselves. That's it. I mean, it's a good mod. I mean, I use it on single player, but it's just, it damages the crop. And with 16 people on here, yeah. some of them, you know, better than others, I guess, you know, it just end up with no crop whatsoever. That timing, Steve, I'm, I'm just harvesting the edge of four. And when I get to the uh -huh. bottom edge, it all becomes ready. Well, it's not all become ready on my side. Well, it is. It is ready, Steve. Uh, not, oh, it's, it's a little bit more you. of it's just, oh, there we go. Coming in now. I told you. It's such a good network hold on, on this, it's amazing. Mr. Sigvert, thank okay, you for subscribing. Welcome to now, Sigvert. Thank you for supporting the stream, sir. Welcome to the community. Can we give him a little nutty welcome, everyone? Wow, annoyingly, there's a patch here. I'm just going to drive through it. Gonna need a trailer to empty me on field four. I have the barley. How can that not be ready? That makes no sense. There's no way somebody could have come along and sown that later. That's so weird. Mind you the creepy yawn mod. <laughs> You can turn the crop destruction off and keep the rest if you want to. Um, guy said in the chat that you can turn off the crop destruction and keep the rest if you want to. Yeah, Vrom's just said the same. Yeah, it's something that we'd need to have a look at, I guess. Uh, maybe bring in. How's Cole's got right into the back of Squeak Gaming? Uh, fertilizer does not affect the ground time durable. On plus uh, one twenty. I'm trying to get, get the morning. yeah, and hopefully it'll get the other fields grown as well. The fertilizer doesn't affect the growing time durable, but it affects the yield. So that's like, and it's particularly are you effective just going on up and canola. Down, or are you going around in circle? Uh, I am going around in a clockwise fashion so that the you can cut without damaging crop. Okay. See so what I'll, you're doing there is the wrong way. Yeah, I'll come over there. Yeah, it's particularly effective on canola, which has a fairly low yield unless you use fertilizer. And then it is just like printing money at that point. I don't know if you like light now. Dun dun. Whoa, big crash on Coles and Squeak Gaming. Yeah, they had a bit of a tussle though, because Coles was on his way over to me and Squeak got here just before him, and I think Coles is a bit annoyed. <laughs> wow, look at the fog. Rolling in again. All right. Oh, what? There's some kind of invulnerable bush in front of me. In the fog, it kind of looked <laughs> like a bit of grass, but... Yeah, some thinking. of the bushes are a little bit, you know, overrated, I guess. Yeah. Like Paris Hilton bushes. 
<laughs> completely useless and totally overrated. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> Loving the cut in him, Mr. JMC. Ah, wow, that fog lifted. lifted. Slowed it down now, plus five. Oh, you've oh, done it as well. it down and put it wherever you want. Yeah. No, it's fine on that. I don't mind. We can put it on five if you want. Uh, well, I don't know what the other field situations are like at the moment. True. All right, we'll let them grow a bit. Tractor farming road rage. Yeah, they definitely had a bit of a tussle, though. Yeah, the bushes are completely... They're like steel bushes. You can't drive into them, you can't move them, they don't collapse. They should bring the Frostbite engine into this game. Oh, imagine that, Steve. Imagine if they bring the Frostbite engine into this game. Imagine that. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you could have destructible everything. You could run over things and just knock them over. Uh-huh. You could blow bits off the side of, the, of yeah. the, the warehouse. Well, even, like, a damage mod, you know, to the... Tr uh, to the tractors and combines and stuff you know like if you drive too fast it'll clog up and then it won't combine if you crash into things it'll break and it'll not work as as good you know stuff like that i think it would be good but saying that with the overall layout of the netcode and stuff of this it's probably not going to be that good you know if they implemented that yeah if there's one thing i hope for in the next version of this game is better netcode yeah definitely I, I, was, I mean, they just need to stop putting gimmicks in that sell and just put, mm -hmm. just focus on the engine itself and the netcode. Like, making it a proper multiplayer. Like, if they had a rock-solid yeah. netcode 32 player, you could have some incredible maps. Oh, yeah. Just think of the... Uh, what was it? The uh, US States map? Yeah, that's just That one with, th yeah, with 30 players. You'd get through that easy, you know, with 30-odd with people. Yep. You can have like rows of combines and it just look oh, incredible. Yeah. Like all pouring into each other. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd make for some interesting videos, that's for sure. Frostbite doesn't really have the destructibility. What do you mean? They're not going to do it anyway because they'd have to license Frostbite from uh, EA and DICE and they're not going to be able to do that. Wow, that bit that you're going over now, on my side, it's not grown. Really? <laughs> uh-huh. So it looks like I'm harvesting an ungrown bit of crop? Yep. Because down here there's another patch of ungrown crop. It's a server full, Sigma. Uh, you have to go via the TeamSpeak and ask, I don't know. I mean, we're due another, another shift change soon anyway, so you may be able to get on the last change. Listen, does it not have G29 support at all? That's amazing. Because you can get the G27 to work with it. I'm surprised the G29 won't. Squeak. You're going to run into a tree, Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, field 4 is ready for seeding uh, on the outer edges as we're going around I think it was the one I uh, was it 17 last that I harvested don't know if that got reseeded is it 17? Yeah, it was 17 That's you out, Ed. What do you mean? Toilet paper exhaust bars are just the best thing in scrap mechanic. Two combines on uh, these fields make short work, that's for sure. Totally. Yeah, I think the biggest one we have right now is 23. Is it? Hang on. Yeah, 23. Yeah. We should go and buy 30 for the lols. <laughs> I don't know, can we just spend it? like all night on there. I reckon 30 is probably about 300 grand. Mm, I don't know. We might as well buy it, seeing as though we've uh, got the money. 
Yeah, it's what we plant on it's the question. Yeah, true. I'd say uh, canola, black gold. Yeah, but it's just had its garage sale, hasn't it? So that you won't have that now for quite a while. Yeah, but if we stock up, that's the thing. Yeah, I know, but it's just money tied up, isn't it? Like, mm. If we go for barley, I reckon when barley goes on garage sale, and if we have a, like a, that field full of barley, we'll make an absolute mint. We'll make oh, a yeah. million. Good evening, Razor Punk. How are you doing? <laughs> Spider, uh, he has regular checkups. We, he has a vet plan. We pay like monthly for a vet plan. He goes in for regular checkups. He goes in for his uh, vaccinations and all that kind of thing. So I can't remember how often he goes in. He probably has better health cover than I do. Well. <laughs> Oh no! Get off! I tried to close the pipe then and press the 9 key instead of the 0 key. Potatoes on field 30? Nuts life. Nuts life saying he fancies potatoes on field 30. Thing is, they take forever oh. to harvest. That, that machine is so freaking slow. That machine, dude, honestly. I'm, no way would I use that machine. Like, it's just hot, awful. It's horrid. Yeah. Yeah, especially, I mean, the one that you put on the back of the tractor and the trailer, uh, you know, the, the header and the, the one that goes on the back, yeah, that one is tedious. But the actual proper machine that does it all, that one's not bad, actually. It's just so slow. Yeah. I, I, the thing I don't like about that, um, the first potato machine, is the fact that it's offset from where you... Uh -huh. Like, the, the entry point comes in at one point and the the bit behind Trailer it... Trailer collects yeah. off at one side, and yeah. It, it just messes with your head. Yeah. Yeah, that's why that all-in-one machine is definitely better, because it does it all in one go. It chops the tops off and then sucks all the potatoes up, so... Yeah. You know, it's quite if a few definitely, quid. Oh, yeah, definitely. If, we, if we're ever going to go down the potato route, that's the machine that we want to get. It is just way better. Yeah, but not 30 for the potato. That's oh, no, just no, idea. no, definitely not. Actually, you know, it'd, take us, it'd take us about four hours just to harvest it. We need to look what Phil 30's currently got on it. That's right, I'll get it. Wasn't quite wide enough. Uh, yeah, Jay Spence, I think there's a slight delay on the swap over because we started slightly late. Because it was uh, having a look at the new map and stuff. Look how many, look how many people are on. Have you seen how many vehicles are working this field right now? Uh huh. Look at this. Yep. We've got us, we've got the trailers, we've got the cedars, we've got the sprayers or fertilizers. It's just amazing. It's teamwork. It's just, it's just insane. You got that? Uh, just a little smidge. I'll get it, don't worry. Okay. Now I can look at what's... Uh, Phil 30 has wheat. Okay. So we could um, actually harvest that if we're gonna, if we're going to go down and buy it. 16 over the road has canola. We could just go over there and finish that while we're here. Okay. And then go and get 30. If we do this, then probably be ready for a changeover straight after this. All right. Not 
more canola for the storage. Indeed. Uh, I've not ginger. Nothing wrong no. with canola, always comes in handy. I think farming sim on the Xbox is the same as the PC, except the PC um, allows you to have make sure we're putting non all the mods into storage now. It's buy another combine. We could buy another combine. The sale has now ended. We may have to soon, though. You're right. I don't think we need one right now, but pretty soon we're probably a third combine. You know, because they are expensive. You don't want to have them just lying around doing nothing. How does the game work online? Uh, you can either buy... If you buy another key, you can have another farming sim server dedicated. Or you can rent a farming sim server dedicated. Um, or you can create your own game and have your friends jump into your game. Uh, if you're on Steam. So there's a few options. You create a game, you can password protect it. And then people can join it. Or you can have dedicated... But the net code isn't the best. Coming out the back though, that's just weird, isn't it? Have you seen the stuff like the swath at the back? Uh huh. Look at the colour of the stuff coming oh, out. Oh, it's like yellow. <laughs> it's like some kind of yellow, and then it's spraying the the actual stalk on the ground. It looks good though. It's a nice animation. Makes it change. Yeah. I don't think he can drive. <laughs> He's struggling. Yeah, it's keyboard. Yeah, you can tell the steering wheel tapping left, right. the detail on the models you know they're pretty good oh yeah definitely it's class yeah, like some people uh, oh yeah nice uh, nice textures and the 3d modeling is good i agree it's just you know all the parts are there you know you can see the detail behind it yeah it's like ets with, with a crap netcode and <laughs> uh game engine Mine should no, I, I think the game engine is good. I think they just need to change it to, I don't know, give it an update. Tasmania Devil Bro, good night, sir. That's a good view. Okay, when the seed is ready, field 16 is ready for canola. Uh, 16 for canola, thank you. Let's go down lengthways. Free seed run, 16 people, I'm done. <laughs> Getting close to change over time. Indeed. It's coming up to, well, it's just gone nine o'clock, but we get uh, ten minutes out, well, five, ten minutes extra. Yeah. The thing is, as soon as we've finished harvesting the field, it's already, like, done, half done, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Indeed. It's crazy.
Now, where did I park my header trailer? Uh, the both over here at the uh, northeast side of Field 4. The lines are leaving, Steve. Uh, sorry? The lines are leaving on the ground. <laughs> Not my fault. This thing's oh, heavy. Oh man, who parts them like that? Why is that useful? I know, right? Let me get mine on, and then uh, you'll be able to <laughs> you'll be able to uh, take over. People need to think a little bit more deeply about how that works. Indeed. I don't know. The, the city skyline snow mod um, was sent to me recently, but I don't know when we're going to play go, it. All yours. The angle. Where so we where are we going? Field 30? Yeah, but we might as well wait for the new gang before we start on that one. Okie dokie. Just follow that. Nice. Like a glove. Snowfalls DLC. Yeah. I hate this. Yeah, it's like backing so up to the trailer. Picky. Man. You know what this game needs as well? A sat nav. What that says turn left and stuff. Well just I don't know. You just get inside the map and say I want to go here and then it just shows oh right it. yeah you know like ETS yeah yeah it shows it on the mini map down bottom left yeah yeah it's said down towards 30 and then I think we're going to be swapping people ok sounds good there's just signs all over the road everywhere you go yeah, yeah. There's a load of bollards on that corner that have been knocked off. There were a stop sign. I don't know. The, the sign's just not going to last very long. No. Nope. But it's, it's good that they're not solid because you just every corner that you go around it would be cling, clang. Oh, imagine. Imagine. Oh, yeah. That. There's so this another stop sign. On the right here is all these houses I was in. Oh, is this where you thought the th farm oh, look at that. Stop. Look at that. There's, they've actually got like a barbecue and table. Just to your right there, this house, just when you get to the back of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like they're having a picnic. Yeah. This, this one's got like a purple deck chair, which disappears when you get past it. Wow. Oh, like, oh, yeah, I see it. As you drive past, they just vanish. Are you in cab view? or External outside? View. Green up. Oh, is this where we do tomatoes? Uh, I believe so. But the, the deck chairs stayed there for me. They didn't weird. disappear for me. Yeah. Okay, I think we can set up over here in this annoying field. Uh huh. Wait, that annoying field has a massive fence around it. That's how annoying that is. Okay. I'm going to leave my trailer here anyway. this I don't even know what this is I have you just joined let me turn it around that way lol what the concrete bush strikes I've again it yet. say again have we purchased this field yet no, I was just waiting for um, All right. concrete bush to get out of the way. I can harvest it already. Yeah, you can steal it. You just can't replant it. True. All right, I'm going to wait here then and uh, wait for everyone to join. Good night, Game King. so nice not to faff about with those headers though. Oh, 
Oh, we don't have wood chips either. Nope. It's not worth it. Logs are worth way more. Oh yeah, definitely. You can get more money. Yep, good night guys. Indeed, thank you for joining us. Evening, Carl. How you doing, sir? You get 16,000 litres by default. Interesting. One second. Yeah, it's just been pointed out to me that we get 18,000 litres of wood chips by default. All oh, right. So we should take so that we to the sell. biomass plant and get quite a lot of money for it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's like... Uh, Probably get about 30, 40, 50 grand for it. Nice. Well, wait until the new ones get in and we'll tell them what to do. Yeah, it's time for the night shift to come in. Might need a loader. Have we got enough? To, like the wood chips, can they actually load it? Have we got the the bucket? Uh, no, we haven't. I can buy one though. We've got we've got the loader at the front. We just haven't got a bucket for it. Yeah. So let me get a bucket, and then people can do that. Ah, oh, I was just about to click on buy. <laughs> Always the case. Whenever you want to do something, it's like nope. Yeah, this is this is top of the fix list for the next farming sim. This one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> is it though? Well, it should be. If I was PM, it would be. What am I doing? Yeah, it'd be nice. The inevitable I mean, the games can do it. You know, the, the lag join enough while you're playing the game. But yeah, it's these just... just can't. Yeah, they they copped out on writing netcode. Yeah, definitely. The thing is, if they actually looked at it, they'd probably realise that the way this game is played is mostly with other people. Mm -hmm. But they obviously took the decision yeah. that people don't come and go very often enough to warrant writing decent netcode. Yeah, I, I guess so. But, I mean, how, how much would it take to actually change the code so that it works without having to sit here waiting? Don't you know, know. I, I don't know. How much you feel the harvester? Take? I don't know. 400 litres. Well, we should get the field done in 400 litres, I hope. I have no idea why your construction sim is slow, D. Markham. Absolutely none. Shire Oak, how are you doing? There must be a lot of people joining all at once here. Seems like everyone's joining all at once. Yep. A bunch of people just joined. Okay, that's bought. So yeah, they've now got a bucket. We do have a lot of people. One more can fit in, I think. It's just synchronizing the last one now. It's come back already. If this is the last one, I don't know. Right, we need to give them some instructions about what to do. Indeed, yeah. Um, I think, you know, seeding trailers. Um, where else is there? Uh, shoveling the wood chips. Getting them sold. Yeah, sell the wood chips. A uh, couple of trailers down here. Um, what else do we need? Any seeding? Uh, this will want seeding. I think um, they four were halfway 16. through seeding four. Yeah. Uh, was it four? I know it says four and sixteen are growing, but I can't be right. No, well, they must have finished it then. You think? Uh, possibly. Because I know there were two people still on the server, so they must have finished doing that. What can we get them to do then? 
Um, I guess a couple of trailers down here with us. Um, then selling wood chips. Um, there's the grass that needs cutting up what was, on what was that? Uh, next door to field one, to the left of field one. Oh, yeah. There's a big grass area that could do with cutting. Hi guys, thank you for joining us. Um, we need two trailers down on field 30 because me and Steve are harvesting. Uh, we need grass cutting up to the left of field 1. And we need um, wood chips that are on a current sale to be taken out of the storage and sold at... If I can find it. Sold at the biomass heating plant. Any questions, just ask. Uh, yes, fine, man. Okay, I'm moving. Left a bit for Steve. Yeah, trams in City Skyline's pretty cool, huh? Uh, we could do with one more trailer down on Field 30. Uh, I've already got Nordic Dragon with me, but we need one more for Squirrel. Uh, awkward shake feels on us. And we could also do with one more for shuttling if needed. I think it's like the uh, the combine fills up a lot quicker with wheat and stuff. Yeah, it does. That canola it fills up quite slowly. Yeah, let me know when you get to about eighty percent. If there's not a trailer, then Nordic can come and empty you. Well, I'm on nearly forty already. All right, okay. With no other trailer in sight. Yeah, Delown said he's on his way, so. You need farming right, so diaries. Only at about seventy-eight percent. You need farming diaries. You have no idea what to do here, Lieutenant. Yeah, it's something I've considered doing. Definitely. And it looks like one trailer is on its way. Sixty percent. All right. Okay. There's one coming round, I think. Yeah, Simulators uh, is coming to your rescue. This is just as well because I'm like coming up to 70%. Good evening, just Jamie, how you doing? Beautiful. Snow is so gorgeous in that uh, Lazarus, it does look nice. If you want to take that trailer up to the yard, uh, we've got some wood chips stored somewhere. Uh, there's also a front loader uh, somewhere as well. I've ordered a bucket for the front, uh, if we can sell the wood chips if possible. But I'm not too sure where the wood chips are stored at the moment. It's not a bucket, it's a bouquet. A bouquet? Are you getting all technical now? Oh, you never see the... Um... Yeah, that carry-on film. I forgot where it was oh, called. Yeah, that carry-on film. It's, um, what was her name? She, she was uh, Miss, Mrs. Bouquet. Yeah, Mrs. Bouquet. That's what I'm on about. It's like a carry-on No, it was a soap, it was a soap TV soap, wasn't it? I thought it was just like a carry-on No, Pat Patricia Rutledge. I can't remember what it was called. Keeping Up Appearances, that was Keeping it. Keeping Up Appearances, that's it. Yeah, I thought that was like a carry-on film. No, it was a TV series, I think. Well, series, yeah. Mr. GBFC Drummer Alex. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing, sir. It's your official toot from me. Thank you for your, uh, for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. 
Thank you for supporting today and uh, welcome to the community. Mrs. Bucket. Yeah, but she pronounced it Bouquet because she was like posh about it. I don't know why she just didn't change her name, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna have to collapse this pipe here. Seminator, so it's squeezing through! <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to go around that one, bro. Plenty of trees down here we could harvest. Indeed. <clears throat> I wonder if he rents that um, forest so you can cut trees down. I wonder if it grows them back automatically. I have no idea. That is a good question. Bro. Because <laughs> why would you pay for it unless when you can cut them down True. for free? Yeah. yeah, we bought the field. Unless it's basically no, we didn't buy the renting field. the land and you have to <laughs> we didn't buy it. plant everything again. I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't actually bought this field yet. Just stealing have the we crop. Not? <laughs> no, well, you've still got 400 grand. Well, we're going to need to buy it soon when the uh, cedars come. Yep, to we'll try and see it. All right. Man, this outer edge of trees. Mm hmm. What is Llama doing? No idea. I just saw him driving around in circles a second ago. Llama, do you need to. Do you want something to do or what? And if you want to go find the cedars, uh, field 30 will be ready for seeding shortly. We still need to purchase the field, uh, but when we get to the top, we will be able to buy it. Of all the games I've played, which would I recommend the most? What well, for you, I don't know anything about what you like to play. I can't recommend anything. You don't, you don't just recommend games because they're good. You recommend games because they're good and you understand what that person will like and say, this will be good for you. It's the same with films, you know? I mean, I don't... I, I'll say a film is a good film, but sometimes... What is he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> sometimes I'll say to friends, you should see this, right? Because I know they'll like it. The trees need to be replanted. But what, why would you pay to go in this forested area so that you can cut down their trees Rome's and then replant them for them? Back. What are you paying he hasn't for? hasn't cut down any of the trees on this map yet, but I guess it's just renting the land, so you'd have to plant them yourself. Which is a shame, but... Eh. I, I just don't get it, Steve. I mean, why would you... Why would you pay to go in that forested area and pay yeah. to plant and, and cut down and plant the guy's trees? Like, what are you paying for exactly? Uh-huh. The what? thing is, what if you rent it, cut down all the trees, and then give it him back and say, OK, we're done with it now. <laughs> you know, you finish it. You plant all yeah. the trees again. Yeah, exactly. Just cut them all down and say, bye. I'm just like take the top of that tree off then. Dodging trees with the pipe, and the worst <laughs> thing is, Simonator's like, yeah, you'll, you'll just get lined and... up and have to go around a tree. Yeah. <laughs> Butler! Dude, slow down! Slow down! What are you doing? Stop! Just stop! Why is he just driving on? It just makes no sense. Exactly, replanting should be done by the owner. 
Uh, I need to buy this field. One second, Matty and, and Khan. I just need to buy this field. Not done it yet. I just, I'll get round here in a second and jump out and buy it. Uh, LT Bling, field 30 is ready for seeding. Uh, you want to plant it with wheat, if possible. Well, like, good evening, Paul. I have a new job and I just saw my paycheck. Uh, apparently, I make 370 euros a week, so here's some of that money for you. Keep it up, nuts in the blood and veins. But, like, congrats, dude. Thank you for the delivery. Money hype, Butler. Money hype. Well, I'm just going to jump out and buy this field, hoping that this is the buy box. Uh, yeah, I think it should be. 500 grand? Wow, we don't have enough then, do we? Wait a sec, guys. I need to get a loan. This thing's 500 grand. Right. Go on, you, you go up to the buy point. I'll get a loan. Half a million dot like euro field. What's going on? There you go. It is a big field though. Okay, we own field thirty after we just took a Wonga mortgage. Best get selling some stuff to pay for that one. Yeah, I've just paid a little bit of it back. I, I kind of overshot a little. Oh, it is a big field. Well, half a million. Jeez. Uh -huh. uh, have you told Lazarus where the rod chips are? Because I don't know. Uh, I haven't got a clue, uh, Lazarus, to be honest. Um, maybe Vrom will know. But if not, they'll be somewhere on the farm. They've got to be. I think they'd be in one of the closed areas. You know, like where you have to open the doors. thing is we've got like a timed drop off on that wood chip haven't we true why would you still wood chip no idea somebody send the sales over I hope it's not no it's still flashing I would have thought the wood chip's behind like a barn door or something in a warehouse hmm. and storage or possibly even in that dispensary. Yeah, definitely wheat on field 30, please. Can they not check it themselves by pressing the I key? Yeah, they should be able to. Like a Larry, if you press the I key, you can scroll to the fields and then um, you can see what crop type it's on. Wood chips are in the forest. Hmm, okay. <laughs> what? I. I I don't think that's true, but if well, it is, we then can't we, get in, we can't get in. We can't get in the forest. Wow, that would be that's scumbaggery if that's true. Yeah. Uh, the farm Nordic is just below field eighteen. Lasagna, I love lasagna. Although, the worst kind of lasagna is either undercooked or overcooked lasagna. Like, undercooked is where it's... It's like the pasta's all... Like, uh, I can't describe it. And overcooked is where the pasta's like little layers of concrete. Both are really bad. Lasagna, lasagna's got to be done at just the right temperature so that it's like cooked all the way through beautifully but not burnt. I uh, could do with another empty trailer on 30 if possible. I'm almost full. You go and get, <laughs> you go and get in food, King Gawson. Get me some while you're there, dude. Okay, we don't actually have enough money to buy one yet. Lol. We definitely need to um, sell some crop again just to get some money. Uh -huh. We should possibly think about selling some of this wheat. Indeed. Just enough to get the money up to like 50k or something. Maybe just a trailer load, you know. We're going to be harvesting like yeah. four billion tons of it. Yeah, true. All right, I'm on the southeast side of field 30. I am 100% full. Stringy cheesy on lasagna is nice. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I find like stringy cheesy 
stringy cheese I find really annoying but fun at the same time. Like you eat it and it goes Brrr. which is kind of fun but annoying. It's it's fun if you're at home doing it. It's annoying if you're in a restaurant and everybody's looking at you with this stringy cheese coming out your face. You're like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Take away plus squirrels a perfect night in. <laughs> Thank you, Myers. There's a reason to buy the forest. I don't even know if you can buy it or whether you have to just rent it. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure. Yeah, I know Luke, we've been we've been talking about that, that farming sim's on sale at the moment. People have been buying it for like six pounds and stuff. It's pretty cool. To me it feels like on Steam, like the sales are it's a bit like DFS sofas now, you know. They have one site, they give it a couple of weeks and there's another one. Like the whole Christmas sale thing on Steam used to be this mega event, but you know, we had we had the, the Christmas sale and then a few weeks later we had like the lunar sale and then we'll be having an Easter sale. No doubt there'll be another sale in between that and the summer sale. It's it's about every what, five weeks we have a sale on Steam now, approximately. And in between that you get all kinds of random sales on individual games. This field is huge. This field is genuinely massive, you know. It is, definitely. I actually have to consider an extra combine next time. Uh, wheat on field 30. Wheat on field 30. Do I drink beer? Not, not. Uh, no, I don't. I don't drink that much, to be honest. Um, it's just not my thing, you know. And when I do drink, it's always socially. I always drink with friends, just to, you know, when you go out. To be honest, I tend to. My number one reason for drinking tends to be when I go out for a um, meal, like food. I, I tend to have alcohol with food. I'll go out for a meal, we'll have a glass of wine. Um, if I go out with my mates for a beer, it will be... Inevitably, we'll have a couple of beers, then go for some food, and then have another couple of beers. Do you know what I mean? It's more... That's how I drink alcohol. I don't just sit down and go, Oh, I really fancy a beer. Or come home and open the fridge and get a beer. It just doesn't happen. Like Spike Hype. I got a little bit earlier, but I'm, I've been all right now. No offence taken, Steve-O, I'm 16. Like Phil 20 on Sandy Bay, lol. Thing is, Steve-O, does it matter, really, if you're enjoying the stream? Doesn't matter. But, well, and here is some more because you're my favourite streamer and also the best on Twitch. <laughs> Whispers, don't tell Steve Kappa. <laughs> Thank you, Butler. It's funny when we was playing Scrap Mechanic last night. I was going, what's Steve doing? And he was sat there watching the stream going, you know I can hear you. <laughs> like, yeah, I knew that. I knew you could hear me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weak, not hey. Mr. Ipu, one year anniversary hype, dude. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. Thank you for 12 months of awesome support. Did you finish the lift, Ed? No, it's... Uh, the game can't take it. We're going to have to rethink the design. We put jets on it to make it turn, but it doesn't work properly. Because the platforms need to rotate on the bearing, and they don't rotate at the right rates and stuff, so... Yeah, we're going to have to think of another design. I actually woke up this morning with some other designs in my mind going, hmm, that might work. That's the thing about games like Scrap Mechanic, is they get my brain thinking. I wasn't thinking very well last night, because I was pretty brain dead at about midnight. But um, when I woke up, my brain had some ideas. Is Farming Sim Gold Edition? Eh? This isn't, oh. This is normal. I need to get a few people in Scrap Mechanic so we can do something really cool. The thing is, it's like, I want to do something 
I want to do like a major project, but you need the ideas. You need to be like, what can we build in like some major project? And then you need to coordinate it and build it. Even with just me and Steve, it's quite tricky. A jet lift. I don't like jet lift, JB Trina. I, I wanted something really cool. Like that is a substantial drop down the side of that cliff. And I wanted something that you could just drive like a truck onto press a button and it would elevate you up there now how it happens I don't know but it has to happen smoothly I don't want it to be you know jet propelled monstrosity I want it to be like some cool mechanics going on um, what's that I would like to know if you could tell me what your mic clip is I don't have a mic clip um, Buzz Pro I don't, I don't use a mic clip I use a shotgun microphone that's why it's yeah, off that's camera. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Nordic's behind. I don't have so a um, Valia microphone, if that's what you're thinking. A normal lift using wheels, it's slow. Yeah, but it's cool. I wanted something awesome. Press a button, it goes... G -g 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 -g, and then it takes you to the top. Uh, oopsiv. That is a weird question. Am I injury prone? No. <laughs> I don't bruise easily either. Unlike Mrs. Squirrel, Mrs. Squirrel bruises really easily. Like if she bumps her leg on something, she'll just come up with a bruise. She always has. Whereas if I won't, like it takes a lot for me to come up in a bruise. I have to really bang my leg or something to come up in a bruise. Just different, uh, different bodies, isn't it? Maybe in the track IR sensor your headphones. He said mic clip, didn't he? It's okay because I have a shotgun mic, but the clip is good for cam for off for a camera. Yeah, but the thing is about it, Buzz Pro is the Lavalier mic is is great if your subject or you are sitting quite still. If you're moving around, it'll it is so sensitive, it'll pick up like the cable running against the t-shirt or whatever you're wearing, it'll pick it up. It's really nasty, but it is really convenient for like interviews and stuff, but I don't do that. I use a shotgun mic. If you want to see my setup, just watch my video, my um, my studio tour video. And you'll see it, you'll see the mic on the arm. Uh, next to ATSC wow, Fredson. Late in the game? Yeah, this is not supposed to happen. I guess I'm decided to try and join back in. See, Fredrickson, um, ATS probably Saturday, what we're looking at. I've got to record it tomorrow. She might be anemic. I don't think she is anemic. She just bruises easily. Um, one of my daughters is the same. The other one is like me. I don't know. It's to do with the way your cellular structure is, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. This is amazing. Like, look at this. We're, we're harvesting the field at the same time around the outer edge. I think it's getting seeded. They're just reseeding. It's yeah. so cool. It, what would be good is by the time we get to the middle, if the outer edge has grown, so we'd just go back and it'd be just it, a continuous loop. Do you know what? If we sped up time enough, it would be like it, the fourth Yeah, it bridge. would be. Yeah, we definitely. could just make money all day long. No flyer. Um, I don't have any content to go out right now. I have to record something tomorrow. Yeah, bearing in mind there's a new Sherlock out in May. Look at the textures. What the heck? What the heck? Hey, that? Nordic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. I just had to do it. Hey. Yeah, it was you that started it when you was going to deliver hay on ATS. It was like, oh, do you want to take some hay? <laughs> it wasn't hay, though, was it? Like, people going, no, that's not hay. It was it's wood or something, yeah. I was so disappointed. <laughs> it was funny. I'm skilled by a gaming, yeah. 16 with daughters, I'm skilled. 16 squirrel years. Did I not mention that bit? I'm 16 squirrel years. Not human years. Hey, what's going on back there? Is Steve slacking? He seems to have dropped back quite a bit. Oh, I 
Andrew, that doesn't work, dude. Number one rule of farming, stay out the way of the harvester. Lol. <laughs> He was seeding a bit too close, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we got to the corner and he's, he's just blocking me from reversing. Yeah, that's the only problem when the, you know, when we're all going round at the same time. Well, it is a problem because the cultivators go faster than the harvester. Mm -hmm. So they, yeah. you know, they catch you up and then, like he's about to wipe out Lazarus here. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's best if they actually stay behind. So then they're never going to catch up, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, never going to be in front and damage any other crop. He's guaranteed to catch up. But yeah, if he runs it too close, he is going to start damaging the crop. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, just be careful because you can actually damage the crop if you get too close to it. Suffering major lag right now. I'm alright at the moment. It's, it's finished. Broken oh, texture high. Too soon. Uh, yeah, no problem, Buzz. <laughs> He's 3.2 years old from 16 school years and has two kids and married. Yeah, but you don't know how old my kids are, and they might be like 1.5 years, squirrel years, or 1.5 human years. Just saying. Yorkshire lag. <laughs> Yorkshire lag, I like it. <laughs> have you seen that? Is it Plusnet from Yorkshire, isn't it? Have you seen Plusnet now? Yes. Has started yeah. giving out free internet for 12 months. Really? Yeah. Like, but it, saying that, Plusnet is a, a quote unquote sub company of. Um, B, is it BT or Talk Talk? I, I don't know. Remember. I know it's a sub company. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've heard bad things about Talk Talk. I've never been with them myself, but I don't know about. I'm Plusnet. with them. Ah, yeah. no, that Talk might explain your internet. <laughs> <laughs> it might have come from me then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Talk Talk's been good. I've hardly had any downtime with the internet. It's just because we can't get fibre in this area. That's why the quality is not that good. But mm. they are planning to bring fibre to the cabinet within this year, oh, right. or so it says. So hopefully at some point this year, uh, you know, it's going to be better. But like I say, I, you know, the price is cheap. I've got two connections coming into the house, one for the office, one for downstairs. And it's great. Never had a problem. Gift gaff is amazing. I thought Gif Gaff was a. Um, I thought they only did like Sims. I don't know. You see, I thought Talk Talk and Gif Gaff were aiming for the cheap end of the market. I'm always worried about the cheap end of the market because, you know, like, whilst price is definitely an important factor, reliability and speed and all that kind of thing, like they tend to cut corners, like your contention ratio, your throttling, all this stuff times tends to come in when you get down the low end of the internet um, costs and it always worried me things like that it's not you know i can't use that for streaming i need something that's reliable i just wouldn't even consider using like talk talk or anything but i must admit i didn't know gif gaff did um internet now i thought they just did mobile gif gaff's based on the o2 network so isn't that just mobile then Minimal overheads. What, what is Seminator doing exactly? What's his plan? I think I know what Seminator's problem is. He's on keyboard, so he has to keep like pressing the key, which then goes full speed. But if he learns how to use cruise control, Seminator, you should um, you should have a look at the cruise control keys. It'll just make it a lot easier if you just cruise. 
because I think you're using keyboard from, from looking at what you're doing and if you just use the cruise control you'll find it a lot easier. The SS Lasagna I think he's... No, you see. I don't know. I don't know if you heard me or not. <laughs> Just trying to give him some tips. Uh, using pedals, press cruise control on my G27, nothing's happening. Yeah, let your foot off the pedal, Simulator. Let your foot off the pedals. Press the 3 key. That puts you in cruise control. And then use 1 and 2 to adjust the speed. But you have to press it quite a few times because it only goes up and down in like one mile per hour. But if you touch a put, touch a pedal, it'll deactivate the cruise. Just go off to the left though and try it out. I, I didn't miss that Nordic. It was uh, artistic work on my part. I left a bit of crop there because I thought it looked good. Uh huh. I bet As it was. I bet you was too busy talking or reading chat. You just got making a rail system. Say. Yeah, it's tricky. It is tricky. I tell you what, scrap mechanic needs. I was saying to this to um, I think it was Steve last night or, and Thyrox. It needs a winch. Do you know what I mean by a winch? It needs like a, a system where you've got like a cable with a hook, so you can say right, attach this winch to that thing there, and when I press this button, activate the winch to to pull it in, and it'll just literally pull whatever it is towards it. Because with a winch, you can build a crane and all kinds of cool stuff. Yes, yeah, Simulator, and you can use that to, to go up alongside the combine and match the speed of the combine, and then it's dead easy to just stay at the same speed as the combine. I'm making crop circles. <laughs> Somebody, I can't believe somebody actually said to me, you should draw the squirrel logo. Like, <laughs> get the harvester and draw the squirrel logo. I'll be there for about three hours. Yeah, my horn sounds better, listen. So that's way better. I need a little announcement on the harvester to say, warning, this harvester is reversing. And then people like Sim might move out the way. That'd be cool. I don't know. People, like when a combine gets to a corner, it's it's going to either stop and reverse or it's going to loop one of the two. Either way, if you're an attractor, you need to stay away from the combine when it gets to the corner. Just just get out the way and then come back. Lag. <coughs> <laughs> I picked him up. ECK D600 is the plate number. Ek D600. Wait, Steve, the back of your um, Lexian, what's the registration yes. plate? Uh, Echo Charlie Kilo Delta 600. Right, so why have you got the same plate as me, Steve? You should have a different number. Like, this isn't um, legal, this is not road legal. Like, if I went through speed camera, you'd get a ticket for it. No, you'd get a ticket because it's registered in your name. No, it's not. You <laughs> bought it. You literally bought this. With your money, not mine. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's registered you in your bought name. it. <laughs> GBFC. Right, it's registered in our company name, so we both have to pay the ticket. Oh, well, is, that, is that what it is? <laughs> Uh, Drummer Alex High School, I've been lurking for about a year now. Uh, finally managed to find the money. Subscribe. Thanks for all the fun streams. Love the scrap mechanics stream last night. Keep it up, Alex. Alex, dude, thank you so much for subbing earlier and your first delivery. Appreciate that support. Thank you. I know, right? Who says that? When you say, What's your registration plate on the back of your car? You don't go, Echo Charlie Kilos. D you know, you're like, uh, ECK D600. Oh, they've not even done half of this field yet. <laughs> Steve's been playing flight sim too much. I know, right? It's just insane. I didn't realize it was like <laughs> this big. This is like yeah. this is like one field in the US states, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just think if we did actually plant canola on this, 
like four times and harvested the lot. When that sale comes in, ka -ching. Yeah. So actually, did you see that? You just said that you can have a farmer can have two plate, two vehicles on the same plate. Really? That's I just didn't know that's that. that is vac if that's true. I well, obviously, I didn't see it. So. Oh yeah, it says there. Farmer can have two same tractors on the same plate. Really? I think somebody'd have to Google that to uh, double check. But if that's true, then well, that uh, is pretty cool. I want to be a farmer now. <laughs> yeah, we could go into business together. Someone needs to take a steam vacation. Vacation. I wonder if you can get fibre to the field. Be able to stream it then live. <laughs> fibre to the field. Yeah. You can just imagine the title now, from simulation to real life. Squirrel farming. <laughs> <laughs> Do the only time, the only time that I read a registration plate out with the letters like that is when I'm calling my car insurance. That is, that is the only time. They'll say, what's your registration plate? And I'll say it like that. Because if you don't, inevitably they'll get it wrong and go, was that M or N? And I'm like, oh. It's, or when the you get the um, the people in the insurance company, you speak to it, and they don't know like the phonetic alphabet, and they start reading it back wrong. Like they'll go, so what's that? Um, cupcake dog one two three, um, X-ray, yummy mummy, and you're like, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's it, yeah, that that's my registration plate right there, and that's how you say it. <laughs> Is Lego Larry is already a farmer in real life. Uh huh. Lego Larry, if you're a farmer in real life, I I don't get it. Why? Like, you you what? Hey, eh? why are you playing this game? Why don't you just do it for real? It's more fun. It's probably you know learning tricks and skills and stuff. Entertainment. Yeah, true. How does it compare to the real thing, Lego Larry? Does the header get stuck at the corner of a field like it does in this game? <laughs> what, have you never heard of the phrase, yummy mummy? Honestly, that, that, that's a thing, a yummy mummy. You fancy a granola bar or a canola bar, Oliver? Uh, welcome, Eddie. No problem being late. I hope the job, the uh, the dogs enjoyed the walk. Do you prefer Volvo or Renault? It's not, it's not even a question. It's just like the truck drives in real life, like ETS and ATS. But I mean, the thing is, right? As a farmer, like, farmers are really busy. They're really busy people. I don't know how he finds the time, if I'm honest. I suppose in winter, maybe things are a bit quieter in winter. But in summer, he's going to be out there, like, 18-hour days. <laughs> More anti renault propaganda. Yeah, something like that. I guess not summer didn't like that yacht. <laughs> Cougar for me, Cadster, yeah. Yummy Mummies versus Cougars. What is granola? It's like canola, but it's made out of bruh. Depends where the farm is too, what do you mean? Oh, you mean for like time of the year or something, or what they what what crop they have and stuff? I don't know if you've noticed this, but has your combine got dirty at all? Um, 
Does it still look shiny and brand new? <laughs> it does actually, now you mention yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, they don't I get don't... as dirty quickly as the other stuff. The tractors are yeah. getting dirty fast. But it does yeah, look. I, the tyres are I, dirty. Yeah, tyres are a little bit dirty, but I don't think the, the actual body of the combine is modelled for dirt. No. I need to go and roll it in a load of mud just to see what happens. <laughs> Take it on a rally drive around the field. If you were advised to send things a scan invite you but run invite you, would you go? Probably not, Robocop, to be honest. I'd probably say, yeah, I'll leave it. If Volvo invite me, I'll go. Use rapeseed oil for cooking. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, rapeseed oil is actually quite a good crop for farmers. They make quite a bit of money out of it. I think you can use it as a fuel as well. I think. Ah, this field. Been all morning on this field. I go with Mercedes definitely. Yeah, Volvo, Merc. Definitely Volvo. Uh, say again. What I was saying. This field. We've been doing it all morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just think how long this field would take to do in real life. I am not spilling grain. That's not my job. My job is to harvest. This, this man, this is his job <laughs> to stay where that pipe should be. Mieska, you should go to Truck Fest. Um, go to Truck Fest Peterborough because Mercedes have quite a big stand. You should stand next to a Merc and then get in one because it might just change your opinions. They're pretty pretty solid pieces of kit. They are, and they're massive. Like you, st you stand next to it and they're huge. Did you see my picture of a Merc, the Actros, last, last year? I'll tweet out another one at Truck Fest, but they are pretty nice trucks. No, no you can't tilt the pipe at all. You have no control over it. Not that I know of. Until somebody turns around and says, hey, yeah, Squirrel, if you hold down the control key and press P and then move the arrow keys, it will activate your pipe directional indicator thingy. Like, what? I'll be honest with you, this game has got one of the worst keyboard mapping screens ever, apart from X-Plane. It is horrendous. You don't like Merc because I like BMW. <laughs> okay. I think Merc trucks, you know, Merc, Merc trucks are a bit different to Merc cars. That's all I'm saying. Just go and see a Merc truck. Nordic, it was it was beautifully placed. It's it's artistic. <laughs> I'm an artisan farmer. An artiste. Do you know what we're going to have to do one day? In this big field, we're going to have to try and do the squirrel logo. Oh, really? It's not yeah, like somebody from to cool. my chat might have gone into yours and suggested that idea to you. No, nope, not at all. That is completely my own choice. My own words. Nobody's provoked me to say anything. Okay. It's just right. uncanny because somebody asked me to do that earlier in the stream and I'm like, oh, right, imagine okay. how hard that is. <laughs> no, honestly, I just thought it would be a good I, idea. I As said you were to saying him. artistic and stuff, I thought, hmm... What if we did the squirrel logo? Why is that not coming out there? Mine would be easy. You'd just do an S and a K. That's it. You know, try doing my avatar. Fair enough. I said it's pretty hard drawing my logo with a pen and paper, yet alone trying to do it with a harvester in a field. True. <laughs> the pipe directional indicator thingy. That, that's trademark now, Dead Mouse. It's doing some more reach on Merc trucks. They're quite unknown territory for you. Um, I don't know. If you can, if you can get to a truck show and there's a Merc there, like a big Actros, just have a look inside. That's all I'm saying. I stand next to it. I think you know. You'll see what I mean. Last year at the Truck Fest Peterborough, Volvo had a pretty good stand. They had some really nice, like, massive emergency vehicle trucks. The uh, the ones that go to recover other trucks when they break down. And they had them on this, like, massive stand. It looked really good. 
Actually, Scania had a good stand too last year. The year before that, they had the 50th anniversary uh, Scania Gold though. Um, but this year they had uh, all, like quite a big tent area as well. They were giving out freebie stuff. <laughs> well, Volvos are what the Kool-Aid kids drink, you know? They, they like, yeah, I want a Volvo because I'm a cool kid. That's They always get attracted to the Volvo. You should see plenty of Volvos in the, in the multiplayer. Uh, practically good. It's a PG chat. You're welcome to watch if you don't enjoy it. Please move along. Thank you. There was a one golden scanner. There was a golden scanner at Truck Fest, Sessi. Uh, yeah, there was two years ago when it was the um, anniversary. They had one there. Was, I took photos of it. I think I put them on Facebook. That was an amazing truck. It was beautiful. All about Volvo for you, physical Fairmont, Sammy, most trucks think the best quality. That's fine, Tom. Uh, I, I, you know, not arguing with you, sir. I'm just saying that a lot of the uh, kids go in the Volvo because they see it's the cool truck. They want to, they want to uh, adorn the Volvo with accessories and make it look cool. I am running low on fuel. Yeah, I don't know what your fuel gauge is reading, but mine's down to less than 200 liters now. Uh, 252, but the good news is Delahound is behind us. Well, and not he's the good got news the is. Yeah, look he's at got the mini the map. Trailer. I was going to say, yeah, look at the mini map, and there's actually a fuel tanker just to the left. Yeah. Is that Delahound? Is that a fixed thing on the map? It's a fixed thing. Delahound, could you possibly pull up on my inside and see if I can refill whilst moving? Well, is this like. Aircraft refueling, yeah. Uh, mid -air. If we could get this done, that would be awesome. I would get this done. Not 200 liters. I started off with 350, but plenty. <clears throat> Two years ago, I went to Brands Hatch truck racing at Firework Night, but that was pretty cool. No, I, I didn't do that one artistically. That was um, deliberately for you. Dave to 190 Twitch con to be confirmed. San Diego, Del 17, Hound. September 30th. Hi. I'm not going, Dave. It's too far, bro. Right, pull up on the I went last year to the first one, but go back um, down I'm not going to go to this one. And see if we can refuel whilst travelling. I want to try something. Let's see if you can do it at Mac 1, Steve. <laughs> not a jam. <laughs> Yeah, TwitchCon's good, but it's not, It's not. you know, for the amount of money it costs me. If I lived in the States, I'd definitely go. But it's so expensive. You need a tanker for refuel, a refreshment trolley won't do. <laughs> on the inside, Del on my uh, right-hand side. Yeah, there better be more than just fuel on this uh, thingy here. I want, you know, biscuits and cups of tea. <laughs> Del Hound, don't just be turning up the fuel. Thing is, he's actually he's actually got a good idea. He's got the refuel trailer that's got the reseeder and stuff for the yeah. fertilizer, he's and then it. he's got the fertilizer trailer on the back, so he'll never run out. The question is, will he will his tractor ever run out of fuel if he's got a fuel tanker on the back? No idea. Could he drive forever? <laughs> Yeah, it's not working, Delound. Why not go to TwitchCon? You would look, you'd see LA San Diego. Uh, Ceci, I'd love to, but it's just super expensive, dude. Like a flight over there is seven hundred pounds. Uh, the hotel is well, how much was it? Like two hundred a night or something? It's just it's too All much. Right, does that not carry too fuel? I'd love to go. I really would, but it's for what I get out All of right, it as well. It it's did. not worth the money. I'd rather be back here doing more useful things. Look at us, we're all in a row. This is crazy. I do have Instagram genius Sherlock. I do indeed. Are you refueling? No, no. I'm just saying look at everyone going past you. There's uh, Natty, Andrew, Nordic, Siminator. We're all just clumped together. They are. Let's see what happens at this corner. <laughs>
The good thing is when they're cultivating is they can see what they've not done or done because of the like the straw mm -hmm. all over everyone. That's a little oh, indicator. They're all fighting over that corner. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, like, trying to get in front, that's what it is. The collision was inevitable. Yeah, seven pounds for a for a flight is is just the beginning. You know, there's all kinds of other expenses, and that is British Airways economy as well. <laughs> you go business, and it's double. Well, let's sub speak. Uh, it's it, is that not obvious, Aurora K van? Is that not obvious, dude? Because if you got like sixteen people in Teamspeak when you're streaming. And you want to listen to me? It ain't going to happen because everybody's going to be like, no, 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 no. they can all talk to each other. Like in that room, they can all talk to each other. Me and Steve can whisper to them, but they can't talk back onto the streams. That's the difference. It's trust me, it, it works better that way. There's a whole lot of chatter otherwise. Might as well like they're in a football match or something. Like you what? I can't hear you. forest is amazing. How does he know that? Has he been in the forest? Um, you can actually walk in, but you can't drive. You LC, can't get a tractor in. It's a magical forest, be careful in the, there are fairies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the pixie dust. Yeah, don't get that pixie dust in your eyes. It itches like crazy. Uh oh, have you seen our money? Yeah, minus 509. I did say we need to sell a tanker full of stuff. Mm. Nordic, can you uh, find out where to sell that for the most money and actually go and sell it? We're actually in the red. Everyone else, if you just keep storing it at the. Uh, not, no, I'm trying to say farm, it's not the like that, dude. It's we just need like to that. sell one to get some money. Right, we've just got that triangle now. Uh, Olaf, yep. Doing well, sir. No, I don't watch football, Robocop. Yep, fuel's low, Connor, but we've got enough. There's a fuel tanker over there. Booster's engaged. Why don't I have better Twitch TV installed? I do. How do you know I don't? Yay, we've it's nearly done. I do have it installed. GB, you can finally use the sub emojis. Yeah, you just got to learn them all now. <laughs> Have I had frame rate issues with scrap mechanics, Sim? You can get them if, like, there was six of us, I think, and we were building loads of stuff, and we built that much stuff that it you started to get really map, bad frames, like going four around FPS. The, uh, cedars. So it does happen if you build tons like of a stuff. Little army of ants. Yeah. That is crazy on the right. And look at that coordinated seeding. Yeah. It's good though. It's good. Um, you know, it's it's good turnover of the field. You know the. You know, we're harvesting it, but as soon as we've harvested it, it's already seeded, almost. Why is LC running around? I have no idea, he's just ran past me and I'm like, uh, okay. LC, you're going to get killed, mate. There's some pretty heavy machinery here. <laughs> yeah, don't fall in front of the curb. We're not liable for your death. <laughs> P45 in the post. Got a tractor convoy. You heard of that car mechanic simulator game? No. Which one? What's it called? Look at 
they've finally nearly done this field. Indeed. Half a million hype. I'll leave that for Nordic. Yeah. Oh, we've sold. He's selling the trailer now. Money's going up. Phew. Back in black. Great song. 23, 26. Still going up. 29, 31. That's good. Bring back car mechanic. Wow, mm, still got, going it, up. The, the, the next one of the game just got a bit too grindy. Fifty grand for all that for that one trailer. Wow, nice. How many trailers have we at least filled up from this one field? I'd say at least six. If I didn't know better, LT, I'd say you're just trying to get on TV, mate. What do you think about petrol, electric engine, elevator, and scrap mechanic? Uh, what do you mean? What do I think about it? Um, for an elevator, electric gives you nice control. Uh, that's all right, Nordic. We're back in black, so it's fine. You had four trailers. What? Yeah, he's had four trailers full, which means a few of the others have probably had three or four trailers full as well. Hang on, LT said he hasn't got a tractor. Are we, are we showing equipment? No, nope, we've got 15 tractors. I made sure we had one extra. LT, uh, Steve's saying we've got 15 tractors. Given that me and Steve are in a harvester, there should definitely be a tractor available. I bet I could tap to one. Yeah, don't be that. <laughs> Five are in a ditch? Are you serious? Okay. That explains it. Three in a lake? Oh, God. Somebody should have said. I bet we can't reset because the thing is mm. full. You just can't get the staff. Uh, Undertaker, you might as well just wait there. Let us get this a little bit. Save uh, trying to get round in tight corners. Seems like there are good drivers in this game. Yeah, what, three in the lake and two in a ditch? Yeah, we've got some great drivers. Well, you finished that off. Uh, okay. 0.2 of us battling around that bit. Fuel next to Delhound? Uh, I don't think you can. I think it's only a fertilizer cedar trailer. Okay, I'm going to drive over and refuel in a minute. It's going to put my head up. I need to. I've got 189. That fail is huge. Indeed, it is. This is why we can't have nice things, indeed. Whoa, 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 I didn't expect that. How did they get the driving license? They didn't, Connor. <laughs> we'll have to go and recover some tractors. That works so much better than the last one. That locks on there very nicely indeed. But this bit here is still a lot of pants. Trying to look for this fuel thing down here, but I can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Unless it's just like a small vat thing. Oh wait. Next to the house. I'm, you know, it's actually inside the house. Inside? How are you supposed to get in yeah. there? Yeah. Uh, you just open the door. <laughs> of course you do, you just open the guy's front door. Can you just refuel well, my it's, harvester? It's not a house, it's a um, like a shed thing. 
Have we got a um so where is it from? We have to go in there to do it. Sorry? We have to go inside there to do that. Yeah, but it's not triggered it yet, so Well it's probably because you're not all the way in, you're gonna have to drop your header. Thing is oh there it is, there it was. You have to do it at a bit of an angle. Uh, have we got a car wash anywhere? Uh, yeah, we've got two of them. Uh, we've not got the full car wash that we had last time, but we have got a. To be fair, it wasn't to all your staff just one, Sanjay. Mm. Why well, am I not surprised? The LT Lama to put them in the all in the lake. Mm. Apparently, one person was responsible for it all. This thing takes ages to refuel. Big tank. I'm only halfway there. Yeah, I mean, Nordic will try and reset, but I think it was full last yeah. time. If we can't get them out, I'll have to do it during the week. We'll reset things if I can. Let's get that one. Okay, I've reset one. It's kind of hard to see which ones are in ditches, though. Yeah, true. It's probably going to be up where... Um, where that forest is that are in the ditch. Yeah, it could be. I think when like we get a gully or something. When we all get back to the farm later and we'll fight and cleaning stuff, that's when we'll do it because then we can see what's out there and what's not. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Right, you go around. Oh yeah, because there's a little red tanker in there. Uh-huh. I think maybe the other door opens as well. Uh, sorry. I reckon that other door opens, you know. Oh yeah. Other door opens as well, Steve. Oh, does it? Okay. I think with this way you could possibly just reverse right up to the tank of it easy. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> easy peasy. Refueling this harvester, the audio just sounds like somebody on the toilet. Uh huh. Yeah, that's why I zoomed out. You don't hear it as much. Yeah, uh, Cobra Farm, yeah. You don't think you can get that thing in there? Of course you can. Loads of room, look at it. You don't need to, you just need to get it next to this tanker. If your vehicle needs fuel, guys, there's a fuel tanker just next to Field 30. You see it on the minimap. It's like a house. You just open the door and drive right next to the red tanker. I'm still filling up here. I know it took a while for me. It's filling up with a hose pipe. <laughs> it's not a hose pipe. It's a straw. Yeah, you see all the fumes I'm venting inside this thing. Because look at our money just not going down. Like a thousand litres of fuel and it's just hardly going down. Uh oh. That rear wheel stay hype. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that open because if I don't, people will probably not be able to work out that it opens. Hmm. Ever tried reversing one of these things? First person? Lol. <laughs> Good luck with that. Right, where am I? Can I 
go that way? I can, can't I? This is a better route. I like this ditch here. That's quite cool. Oh, is that canola? Cheeky bit of canola, though. The head is actually... Hang on. Is the head on at an angle, or is that an illusion? Right, I think we've got a backlog of vehicles waiting to be washed. <laughs> what a surprise. Oh no, they're actually trying to get people out of the ditch. Oh, GG boys on the effort. I'm driving on right, Delhound. I'll have you know I went round the right way at a roundabout and stuff. It's a one lane road, this. Well, you must have saw it earlier and we got to roundabout. The head is tilting. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, man. Somebody left a tractor in the middle of the road. Yeah, I think they're trying to get a few of them out. But the jet wash is... Uh, hmm, where's the best... How best to explain this? Really wish I hadn't come this way. If you look for a pile of grass on the floor, um, the jet wash is there. It's where I am now as well. Why don't we just reset that? Why are they trying to dig them out? The thing is, there might not be room on the farm to reset it. But I reset one already, didn't I? Hmm. Now there's just a massive traffic jam in. Yep. You know Nordic's going to get stuck in there. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> Let's put this over here. Let's get the combine out of the way. Was right in the middle, Steve. Sorry? Put your harvester right in the middle. Uh, I didn't mean to. I had to move it because of the jet wash. Where is the jet wash, is it? Uh, it should be just in front of those uh, areas. He didn't even close it. There is it. another one around here in, in the actual drop off area. You know where you drop off the uh, crop? There is another one in here, but you'll not get the combine in here. That's why I put another one out there. <laughs> Let's just park it over here like that. There you go. Uh, um. That'll do. That looks reasonable. If you are looking for another jet wash where you unload crop, there is one there. Whoa, who left this here? Field 9. How can the... Oh, was he cutting the grass around the outside? Fair enough. Okay, let's get this back to base. So what is the quickest way back to base? Turn around. This is one filthy tractor. Look at this, guys. Let's give it a little... I'll empty the grass and go and take it for a wash. That's not an old derelict tractor. That's a very, very dirty tractor. Um, left turn. 
I'm so lost in this map. I don't know what he's been doing with it. <laughs> Go this way. The next to the combines, is that where all the grass is going? Yes. Where is the, the grass trailer? Where does that get parked? No. Um in the green area, uh where the green barn doors are, sorry. The green barn doors are. The green area with the green barn doors. I see a lot of green guys. I see trees. <laughs> I don't see a barn. Let's get this tractor cleaned up. Uh, you need grass. Um, what you do is you cover the grass up and it turns into silage. And then you can just sell silage for good money or you can feed it. Is it as food? I really wish I could wash my vehicle like this. Just point the jet wash at the, la the label and then the whole thing gets cleaned. As if by magic. Let's do that as well. Beautiful. That's a lot better. Okay, so I don't know where this green door is. Um, if you come round where the fill area is, uh, sorry, yeah, where the where you empty, mm -hmm. and then there's some green barn doors. Okay, so where the tree is. Yeah, where that centre part is, where the tree is. What we're going to centre park to? Centre park. <laughs> Alright, so I'm at the tree. Uh, yep, come straight forward. If you see that shed on your right, that's mm. where the, the actual grass cutter goes. And then in front of you, where the where Undertaker is, that's where the green trailer goes. Okay. So we'll start by detaching. Stick this in here first. Trim down that tree. <laughs> there are too many tractors here. This is insane. Right, uh... He wants me to reverse this into here. Is he having a laugh? Good luck reversing that, Delound. Not Delound. <laughs> Whoa, that turning circle. Lol. Thing steers as well. Look at this. Let's straighten it up. And then we'll turn it right at the end like that. Oh, come on, game. Give me a break. <laughs> I know the shred I was steering. That's what makes it so fun. Uh oh, I think I got it stuck. You're having fun with that. I'm having loads of fun with it. Yeah, it is a bit of a nightmare to get in. Uh, if you want, because it's a longer trailer, get it into this one where I am. And you can reverse straight back in then. Hey, no need. It was like a war, Steve. I had to win that battle. <laughs> I, I know where you're I know there. the feeling. Yeah, it's like, you will go in there if it's the last thing I do. Yeah. 
I have no idea where everyone's put the cedars, so I'm just going to put this one in here. Right, so who removed the wall off the other side, Steve? Who removes, removed the what? Who removed the wall off the other side? I could have just driven through from the back. Have you literally just driven straight through? I just reversed it. Yeah, look. I just reversed it and went, okay, there's no wall here. Why yeah, do you need oh, to yeah. reverse it into here when you can just drive it straight <laughs> in? Uh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> Seems like, yeah, yeah, you need to reverse it and the green doors. And then when your tractor's clean, uh, or bring it back here. you could just drive around and just, you know, pull it around this way, say, and then just drive it in that way. Because that's like 500 times easier. How do we shut this? Okay. Have you known my tractor is already spotless? Let's close that up. Actually, let's leave it open because I reckon there's some other stuff we can collect here. Looks like we got most stuff back to base, I think. Yeah, there's just a couple of bits, but I believe they're in use. Uh, there's two cedars that are still on the field. Uh, there's a log fork, and then the um, uh, log trailer thing, which I'm just going to reset now. Yeah, there's a bunch of things still on that road by the look of it. What are the tracks yeah. asleep? Um, round the other side. Uh, if you go back where you were, to that green shed, right, and just go straight past it and take the first left. Uh, sorry, right. Or the left. Yeah, so go straight forward there, turn right, and then turn right again. You'll see where I am. There you go. Okay. Next to the potato bush. Potato. That I, yeah, that I still can't figure out how to fill. Someone said that you need to drive from the other side and that this is positioned wrong. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Near enough everything's back. this log thing which just sat out here hasn't been put in the shed yeah. yet yeah it's just that's the problem yeah I don't know who's got the uh, the telehandler on the front hmm. oh yeah the telehandler to drag that thing uh, oh no, sorry, I thought you meant the actual log fork thing. No, uh, no. just a tractor. I think Delhounds is moving. Yeah, Delhounds, when you've done that one, can you move the uh, log uh, trailer as well? We'll take it for a quick wash. <laughs> take it for a quick wash. Thank you, Shun. English only, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what everyone else has done with the um, the other cedars that we've got. I know there's two of them still out on the... Oh, there's one. Never mind. Oh, no, it isn't. Yeah, most equipment seems to be back at base, although there's... Yeah, oh, there's one a tractor. few... I think there's still seeding down there on 30, possibly. Yeah, there's three tractors stuck in the ditch. Wow, look at that on the map. Phil 30 growing. It's massive. Mm-hmm. Half a million hype. I mean, said that, we've got a big loan to pay back. Have a look how much um, stock we've got now. 679,000 wheat. Nice. If there's a garage sale on wheat, we are quids in. Go Matty, to, don't try and get them out. Just take your vehicle back to the base, and then I can try and reset whoever's left here. Go to Squirrel Farming House. What Squirrel Farming House? Same with you, Andrew. If you're out, Who's drive that? straight across. That needs a, a wash, lads. If you want to take it for a wash. Oops. 
Right, there's no space on the farm for me to reset anything. Oh, nice. We've got a little um, diving board over here. Nice. Yep, you dive into ankle deep water. It's fantastic. <laughs> What? <laughs> I've got to show this to Steve. Where are you, Steve? Um, literally in front of you. You should be able to see my name tag. Uh, Not in front of you, to your right. To your oh, right, 90 degrees, yep. Can, can you come over here? Uh, just give me a minute. I'm trying to reset these vehicles. There's okay. no room, though. Where do we have to make room? Uh, somewhere where the uh, tractors are and everything. Just having a look now. How the heck did that cedar get in there? No idea. Like, that's behind a crash barrier with a tree mm -hmm. that's been cut down. No way was that an accident. Come on. Mm hmm Like, a felled tree and a cedar in the ditch, like, as if. Yep. Yeah, spawn location is here where the tree is in the middle. But there's, it's, it's empty, but it's saying that there's no room. That's weird. Taking a bath. Hmm. Harvesters, tools. The log. What the heck is a log fork doing though? Oh, that's still seeding. Alright, seeders reset. Yeah, just reset a log fork down there as well. Yeah. Nordic, do you want to jump out? Let me have a quick go. Can you not reset that? There's no room at the farm, it says. But we just reset a bunch of things. Yeah. You, you need something to push you though, Steve. Yeah, you, you don't have the you don't have the traction. You need something to. Let me go attract and come over. And get that tractor out of there, put me ditching this one as well. Right, okay, so I'm gonna get behind you. The thing is, you'll end up in water as well. Possibly, I'm gonna try not to, but oh god. Okay, <laughs> this thing's brakes are rubbish. Yeah, that's just redundant. Okay, I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. Well, there's another one in there now. No, it gives a shove. <laughs> That was unbelievable. I put my foot on the brake and went bonk. <laughs> rescue mission! Yeah, no doubt. I came for a rescue mission and then failed hard. Yeah, I was thinking like a sideways knock maybe, not just put me further in the ditch. Ranky 84, 11 months, thank you Ranky. The thing is, the telehandler thing's on this one, so... Uh, Nordic's in the ditch. Woohoo, ditch hype. <laughs> Ababa Ross, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the house. A Baba Ross can be giving a lovely nutty welcome, everyone. Thank you for supporting the stream. Welcome to the community. Yeah, we need some sort of recovery mod. Yeah. Or oh, we just need to not fail so hard at farming. Yeah, it just keeps saying no space left on the farm. Right, that stuff that I reset, where does it go? Do you know? It goes to the centre where the tree is. Okay. Yeah, look where the tree is. It could just be that there was a play there at the time. Right, simulator's there. 
Right, Lazarus. Lazarus, can you reverse up? Oh, okay, maybe not. Hold yeah, on. here's the little fork that I uh, yeah. reset. Galhound, can you come and pick up this little fork here and just move it? So I'm trying to reset something. Lazarus, if you reverse up to where I am, I'm the last one at the very other end. If you reverse your trailer into the river, I could probably put this fork into the back of the trailer. Disappointed. Maybe pull it out. I'm disappointed with the clip box here. No, Dick, don't get stuck. It's right in front of you, Del. Like the little telehandler arm thingy. Who won the American Truck Sim giveaway, Jank? Ask the mods to give you a link to the uh, forum post. There's a guy in Norway. I actually posted the wheel off this week as well, so we should get it next week. Can Dell not see that? Can you not see that, Dell? Yeah, the claw, sorry, yeah, that thing. Just just push it out of the way or something. I just want to clear that space so we can try and reset a tractor. Nordic, don't do that, don't do that. Hold on. There we go. Got one out. Andrew, don't get yourself stuck. Uh, Nordic and Andrew, if you take them back to the yard, I'll try and get them out with this. Sim, dude, you're not helping. Thanks, Del. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> and Lego, I think you need to wash that bad boy. Isn't it the way people just drive into each other? Yeah. So Undertaker, there's actually a tree right behind you. There's just no giving way here, guys. If you're watching this, right? People just slam dunk into each other. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and reset. Undertaker's out, almost. Um, if you reverse, if you can, try and turn around. There's a bridge further down the road if you can this. get out that way. This is so bad. You, like, I can't zoom into this map to see what's what. You might have to do a 65 million point turn. Right, try resetting something now, but good luck trying to choose something because there's just a yeah. sea of tractors. But the, the area is currently clear. Nope, no space on the farm. That's a lie, that's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We can't reset tractors because it says that area is full. Just hold off a minute. It's just clearly not full. What started as one tract. <laughs> right, drive forward. How can he drive forward his wheels on the earth? <laughs> right, let me try and reposition a second. This is great. It's like this massive rescue mission gone wrong. Okay. Now, if we can build him a bridge, we're sorted. Yeah. The thing is, there is a bridge further down, but they need to turn around. And this is why you don't put ditches in map in farming Uh huh. Where's the bridge, do you say? 
further down, other side, other side to my to my right. Okay. It's like a shallower area. You need a winch. We don't Why have winch. It's not spin tires. Mm. Or it, no, it isn't. You're not going to be able to. It's a fence. Yeah. It's not the trees. There's a fe fence. Excuse me. I think we just uh, we just leave it now and then just sort this out later. Yeah. We, we should once we're in single player, we can probably reset things. If not, I mean, you'll just sort it out. Mhm. Mm yeah. Don't worry, guys. Take every tractor back to the farm that you can get back to the farm. Every piece of equipment, etc. Uh, leave it for now. We'll have to do it in single player. Yeah, real Callum, it's not that. It, it, um, they get out the tractor and it says there's no space, which is a different error. It's the error you get when there's something in the way where it, where the reset point is. If there's something there, you can't reset to it. Even though we've cleared the area, it just keeps saying no space. <laughs> you can see Undertaker fan going... I don't want to move. If I move, I might put it in the ditch. Of course I will do another shared cockpit. I guarantee you, Undertaker fan will get stuck in a ditch in a minute. Nearly. <laughs> oh yeah, the couch. That's what I was trying to do. Where are you now, Steve? Uh, I'm just dropping off the uh, bucket and tractor. Why? Where do you need me at that pond? No, it's fine. You just. Uh... Oh, you can you can see me now, can't you? Yeah, I'm next to you. That, that thing yeah. is a wash, then. Uh huh. Do you want to do the honors? No, I want to show you something. I'm just waiting All for you right. to finish. Yeah. Wow, you just got out of that and disappeared. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, it's server life. Whoa, you're driving off on it. I'm, I'm washing it. All right. Yeah, I had to get in so I could see you again. All right. Like right, to me, you're. Hurt. What are you? Yeah, don't worry. It's just a lag fest. That it's can you just see desynced. me? I can see you. Yeah. Like <laughs> you're, you're stood. Looking at a post about 20 meters away from your tractor. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the desync. Right, I'm back in work? the tractor now. Right, stay, let me show you something. Go on. We'll move that in a minute. Right, where are you? Right, go on, I, I am following. I don't know where you are. Yeah, I'm following. Them. All right, follow me. Right, so hey, first of all, you've got your diving board. Oh, look at me yacht. We've got a yacht. That's your yacht, yeah, and a diving board. <laughs> diving board, yeah. Okay, so you jump in. Can you still see me? Uh huh. Yep. Right, come over here. We're gonna, this is what we're going to do after I've had a long day at, at the farm. Oh wow! Really? Have, have a little sit down. Really? Here. Yeah. <laughs> have a little sit down on the settee, just me and is you with a cup of tea. a little log fire as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is where we're going to boil the awesome. kettle. We just need to tidy the place up a bit. It's a little bit overgrown. Hey, Hoggy, how you doing? I mean, that's what the boats for then. So you get in the boat. Yeah. You sail across to here. And then get in the chair. Yeah, because, you know, if you don't want to get your, your knees wet, you definitely need a boat. <laughs> yeah, but that boat's got more holes in it than a colander. Well, that's true. It's got a massive hole in the bottom. <laughs> it's got a, yeah, a big massive hole in the bottom. But that's boat. more waterproof than a colander. Or I bet a colander's more waterproof, should I say. How are you on top of this roof? Yeah, I'm just going to stay in a vehicle for now. Uh, actually, no. no. I'll, I'll jump out because uh, it has desynced, but uh, there's not a lot I can do. I can't get on the roof. I won't. Uh, I tried that before. I can't get up that way. Yeah. Trying. <sighs> All right, we're done. We are indeed. We'll have to reset things later. Yeah, we'll sort that out during the week. Alright guys, thank you very much for uh, farming. Done pretty well today. Indeed, likewise. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's been great as always. 
Can't jump in. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna log off in a bucket. <laughs> I'm hiding. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave it though, guys. Uh, I am not streaming tomorrow, okay? Even though I told what my sergeant's mess tonight, I had a couple of drink, hoggy. Uh, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I'm going to record it in the morning. I'm going to be editing in the afternoon. Then I'm going to be out all the evening. So I shall be back on Saturday. I don't know where I'm playing yet on Saturday, but that's when I'll be back, okay? Uh, next week, we should be back to normal. Back to the normal Friday streams next week. But this week, uh, I sorry, no, next week I can do. No, oh, crikey. Next week, I am out in the evening again. Blimey, so it'll be an afternoon stream probably next Friday. But yeah, I'll be back on Saturday. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Can we give the uh, mods a little thank you? It's a little squill G. GG or some uh, squill yes, squill love. Uh, yeah, chat's been pretty good on the whole. Thank you very much uh, for joining us and keeping the chat awesome. Have you put up Trucking Diaries, Swifty? No, I've got to record it in the morning, dude. Uh, Trucking Diaries will be Saturday now, unfortunately. Uh, I just no way I can get a video out for tomorrow. It's just not going to happen. There's been too many things going on. I think I need to move myself back now. Over here, because I'll only forget. From Saturday. Oh, I want to be on TV, says Lego. I want to be on TV. There you go. We'll leave it with Echo Charlie Kilo Delta 600. <laughs> Right, anyway, have a good Friday, guys, uh, and I shall catch up with you all again on Saturday. Take it easy, love you all, bye-bye.